if I yell with this setup, I will blow everyone's eardrums out. There. Ooh, that decent. Okay, here we are again. I'm going to test a thing today because last two times, now we didn't have a problem for the first, you know, eight streams, but last two streams, it could be my ISP as well. I was trying to think about, okay, why did we lose connection twice? Because it wasn't even just like, 14, it was like the entire computer lost connection for a while, and I was like, okay, well, I don't think my computer would have a problem with me running multiple windows at once, but then I watched it trying, struggling, and failing to play a YouTube video in like 360p in a minimized window, and I was like, maybe I should close a few windows, so I've got my notes on my phone today instead of on screen, which is one less internet tab open. I uh, still have Discord, still have the chat, and obviously the game window. And OBS open, and we'll see if it makes a difference. Because it might just be that like my ISP was probably like, okay, so hold on a second. <laughs> let's let's look at what's uh, you know what's sucking dry all of the bandwidth from this house. Oh, okay, there's like three people watching video on a... T not three, but there's two people watching video on a TV and also one person streaming and playing a video game that requires a constant server connection and has the chat popped in. No, that person's getting fucked. <laughs> so they might have had to like limit the bandwidth a little bit and that might be why we lost connection. So we're gonna experiment a little bit and maybe try to go easier on my ISP today and we'll see if it makes a difference. Hey Marie, how's it going? Welcome back. Pretty sure your insomnia is what's making it so hard to get out of bed in the morning. Think you can fix that. Magic! Yes, that is that is in fact a good thing. It's good when you have a problem like that that you can solve fairly easily. It's uh I think honestly, I feel like sleeplessness is common this time of year for a lot of people because of the season change, so you're not the only one. Hopefully it's an easy fix for you though. Oh, it's not just the season. You haven't slept all the way through the night in years. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit more of a long-term problem then, isn't it? <laughs> sorry to hear that. I'm laughing, but I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, I don't know if... I don't know if that's something a couple of weeks of uh, synthesized melatonin can fix. I, When I have sleeplessness like that, I just take melatonin for like a week or two and then I'm good. But uh, maybe I have it easier than people. You can lose anywhere from one to five hours of sleep on any day. Now, see, you gotta watch, too, with that, because it could be... Like, I don't know if you're losing sleep because you're waking up, or if you're losing sleep because it's poor quality, because of your mattress, because of your pillow, because of snoring. It's... It, there could be a number of factors there. You might want to talk to your doctor about maybe doing, like, a sleep study or something, because they could... Uh, they could work on that with you to try to figure out, okay, what's the problem here and how do we fix it, you know, so. 
You do. I've used melatonin and it did nothing. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Ben. You wake up and can't fucking get back to sleep. Your brain goes into overdrive after you wake up. Yeah, I, I get that. Uh, it's it's just one of those things. You gotta Maybe meditation would help. <laughs> like, uh, shut off all devices an hour before bed and do some meditation for an hour. I don't know if that's something that's possible, though, for you. It depends on, you know, what you do during the day, your job, and, you know, whether you have too much to do before you go to bed, all that stuff, so... Eh, it's, it, there's a number of factors. Again, I think it's something that you might want to look into with a doctor just to see if they have any recommendations, but... I ain't no doctor. I can just tell you what's worked for me, but what's worked for me seems like easy streets, so... <laughs> you know... Okay, so I went and had a. Why is my HP so low? I went and had a chat with Tadaru and uh, told her a few of the things that are all going on over in the first, and she seemed convinced that I needed both a disguise and also something that would help me not get radiation poisoning from the sun. So there will be another glamour. It will be a crafter glamour. It uh, is not something based on the Eorzea collection because I realized upon looking at the Eorzea collection that there's like no good crafting gear that I would want to use for myself. It doesn't match the aesthetic that I want um, without buying something on the Mog Station. So it might be a little scuffed, but that that would be my fault, not Tataru's. Everything Tataru makes is immaculate. Anything that's scuffed is my fault. <laughs> but there will be another Glamour uh, on top of the three that we've already three yeah the gatherer as well three that we've already gotten so uh yeah random thought of the day for you how you doing everybody welcome back to final fantasy 14 Shadowbringers, the stream edition my car was parked on a mountain for a second i'm back in Oxundu because the vanu vanu are ready to go to rank six once they're done i'm gonna go buy a couple of things in uh the first i'm gonna go buy a couple of things in the crystarium because well in case you didn't know in the interim between stormblood and Shadowbringers, i managed through leveling roulettes to amass uh, 60 cracked Stella clusters and 120 cracked planet clusters. So we're gonna go like buy a bunch of level 7 material with the planet clusters and just vendor it and then I'll be buying level 8 material with the Stella clusters and other stuff but I'll explain that later. Um, other than Gil, I should say. Uh, but we're gonna go buy a few because I actually have enough uh, Saxon nuts now to almost buy all of the accessories that I'll need for one of my classes. But uh, Excuse me, getting ahead of myself. Let's talk to Linu Vali. And keep moving with these quests, because now if I do this... <laughs> sun drop the beat, God damn it. Um, if I do this, the Kojin will be ready for rank 8, and the Vanu Vanu will be ready for rank 7 on the same day, which will be New Year's Eve next week. So uh, that'll, that'll be helpful. You shut off anything about 30 minutes before bed, it's more like, Sup, I'm your brain. Did you know? Insert random train of thought here that persists for 45 minutes. Oh, and also random bullshit here for an hour. Next thing you know, it's been three hours. Yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> you might have uh, what I've dubbed as philosopher's brain, because the Greek philosophers seemed convinced that we were supposed to sleep in two sections in during the day. We were supposed to sleep for four hours, one section, then go do more stuff to tire ourselves back out again, then sleep for four more hours, and then continue. So your life is like four cycles. You were active, then sleeping for four hours, then active, then sleeping for four hours. So uh, you might be a time traveler, Murray. I don't know how to how to explain that one to you because I don't understand time travel. It's, it's a mystery to me, but you might be a time traveler. <laughs> also, I get a dance for this, the sun drop dance. Oh, great. Here we go. This this quest just keeps going, man. <laughs> these Vanu Vanu quests just keep going. I'm I'm just amused by these quests so much. They're great. Like like it's not even like a this is it's not even like Alexander levels. It's just the silliness about it that just it gets to me. But then again, like I love all the Beast Tribe quests in this game. They're like this is Final Fantasy XIV for me. Not the bullshit we're doing in MSQ for Shadowbringers. This here is Final Fantasy XIV for me. The parts that I remember fondly. 
So, unfortunately, that's the only fond thing today because the Vundu know about this island now. Let's hope they don't summon Bismarck, or I'm gonna have this blue mage solo that shit. Time traveler, that sounds dangerous. It could be, if not used responsibly. Alexander, you mean Eggman Land? Yeah, kind of, pretty much. At least we didn't fight the Egg Dragoon there. Or I'd have gotten motion sickness. Oh, so he wanted to be diplomatic instead of just summoning the white. Okay, so he wanted to be diplomatic or he would summon the white. Got it. Okay, I'm going Capsule Corp Car Go Go. There. I need, to, I need to come up with a better catchphrase when I summon the car. I feel like the car would have been insulted by that one. <laughs> Like, with Parvati or Confucius, I can just be like, let's go Parvati, let's go Confucius, but the car, it's like, what do I even say? <laughs> Chief, I'm here, sorry, I'm, I'm all giggles today, even though this is a very serious situation that we've found ourselves in. That's true. They definitely had a had a hand in all of this. The Vundu, that is, that is. So we're gonna fight back. Hmm. So how do we get you guys to fight as one? And we're gonna need you to fight as one with the Gundu because the Vundu are more numerous, if I recall correctly, right? You know, you can understand why Balma and the Briefs are so rich. They figured out how to put anything into a capsule. Yeah, and that's only one of their inventions. They've also invented space travel, a whole bunch of other shits. Like, okay. <laughs> well, a portable picnic setup. One among many things, yeah. Okay, I, I guess they didn't invent space travel, but I guess for Earth-dwelling people, they invented space travel, even though that's technically not true either, because there's Namekians on Earth, but this is testing my DBZ knowledge, and I haven't watched DBZ in years, so... <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we don't, we don't want slaves. That would not be good. I'm not convinced that either of these plans are a good good'un. There we go, that's a good idea. Let's use the sun drop dance. Okay, so we just need to be more fierce this time. <laughs> I'm down. I'm no dancer. I've been told I have two left feet, but I'm down. See, this is the, this is another problem, right? Is that if by the time I'm done with the, these quests, the only ranged DPS that would make sense for me to play in Endwalker would be dancer. And I don't like Dancer. I think I mentioned in Shadowbringers that I kind of liked it, but I just don't. It just, it's so boring. <laughs> There's nothing to do. You hit two buttons, and then you play DDR every 120 seconds. It's so boring. <laughs> like, at least I get giant numbers when I play Machinist, even though it's so boring. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna stop. I, I railed at this game last time. I need to slow down. There's gonna be plenty of other opportunities for this. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, so we just need to encourage them to train with the sun drop dance by showing them a good sun drop dance. Why is everyone looking at me? Oh, good lord. You want me to learn the sun drop dance? I'm surprised my tap dancing managed to do that for you. I figured it was my blue magic. It's fine. King Piccolo's a thing, and so is that entire saga of Dragon Ball. That's true, yeah. Hate dancer. It feels so effing boring. I'm hoping buttons light up. Why? <laughs> I love how stupid the logic is, and it fucking makes sense. No, because they're these guys here are, like, pacifists. Like, Uxundu was pacifism incarnate back in Heaven's Ward, and so they're just continuing the trend here. And if I recall correctly, that uh, trend, that through line continues even all the way into, like, the later parts when the Allied Beast Tribe quests come up, which we'll be doing, because we'll be done with all the Heaven's Ward and Stormblood ones after this, so... So it's just, it's just the way that they are, and you just have to work around it. And I'm kind of okay with it. It presents a problem that I can't just, you know, throw fists at and solve the problem. I'm down for it. It's cool. 
so. Okay. Sure. Sounds like I've got a plan, Lenu Vanu. <laughs> I think it might be time to give up the throne, man. She's uh she's got a good idea. I've been saying it for well not years, but I've been saying it for since uh she led everybody out Gundunaki. What the hell was that? Was that a UFO? <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing it flew away, or else I'd be tempted to use it to get an extra booster for auto-haste. I don't even know if anyone's going to get that reference. Not until I play the game that it's associated with. You'd think I would have made, like, a Starkey reference, too, considering I played Chrono Cross more recently than that game, but, you know. What you love is how things are allowed to make no sense, but they make perfect sense when you think about it. It's so fucking annoying that it works, but it works! <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's fine. Like I, like I said, it presents challenges to us that it's not just like, okay, let me just beat it to death with my pointy sticks. So, I'm down for it. It's cool. Sometimes you gotta think around the box and outside the box rather than in the box. Some of the Martian Madness event in Terraria. Yeah, I haven't played Terraria in even longer, so yeah, that would have been beyond me as well. Okay, sounds like a plan. Dance on top of the step. See, if we did that in human civilization, here civilization, excuse me, hume is in the first. If we did that in here civilization, they'd think we were insulting them, but I guess it's different here. Okay. The mother of all Vanu. Oh, this is the mother of all Vanu. Up here. Maybe if I get up higher, I can kind of see the resemblance, because down here I can't really see it. Well, I guess I kind of see the claws. Oh, that's why, because it's over here. Okay. Alright, uh, well... I mean, I've already unlocked 14 chakra. What's a couple more, right? I haven't done that in a while, but it seems like chakra is going to be necessary to do this, so let's dance our hearts out and see what happens. Mother of all Vanu, grant me sucker. I was gonna fall down here with the car, but it probably would have hurt a little bit, and I sort of took uh, white wind off my bar. I'm using Angel Snack instead because it basically acts like second wind. It has the same cooldown and it restores a little bit more than second wind, so. Even without the healer spec, so. I'm surprised you could see me all the way up there. Alright, there's one in Vundu Bendu. Which is over by their home, isn't it? Yeah, it's all the way over by uh, Vorsen Saran as well. You would kill Professor Paradox if he didn't make perfect sense, even when he's being obtuse. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it's the people that everyone calls insane that make the most sense in certain situations. It just kind of depends on your experiences. So... <sighs> Don't drink and drive, kids. I can only do it because this freaking thing has an autopilot. I've got my hand on the steering wheel just because. <laughs> it's it's water, by the way. It's it's not drink. It's water. I'm not that heavy of a drinker to where I could just sit here chugging down whiskey or something while I'm in the middle of the stream. Like, yeah, no, you know it. <laughs> Anyone else, like, blink just, like, instinctively when I fly past a tree and it looks like it's, like, about to hit you in the face? Like, when the branches on that tree that we just flew past, uh, might, it might have looked like it was going to hit you even though it's 2D. Anybody else blink instinctively? Because I definitely do that. <laughs> like, it's not even something I can control. <laughs> Yes, stop doing it. Okay. I'll try not to run into too many trees after this. Hate how much you relate to them. Once you've been insane long enough, the only place to go is wrap back around to sanity. You really feel that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever been to that point in my sanity yet, so I can't really... I don't know if I can really say that I understand it or feel it to that level. Maybe I'll get there one day. I just sound like I'm insane most times. I'm, I'm faking it. <laughs> Okay, 
and the other statue is uh, oh okay it's this this here in the center of the screen I see it now you know if it wasn't for these quests or this quest in particular I don't think I would have ever seen the resemblance to a Vanu Vanu on these rock formations I think I would have just you know not seen it at all it's funny all right let's open up the 16th chakra the Vanu ancestor chakra <laughs> The light or dark, I don't know which is associated with which in Vanu culture. There we go. I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping for a cutscene after both of these where I, like, unlocked their Sun Drop Dance Kaioken bullshit. <laughs> but I suppose I can do that later. I'm kind of looking forward to the Rank 7 quest now because it's like, no, if they're teaching me the Sun Drop Dance in Rank 6, that means I'm going to use it in Rank 7. It's like Chekhov's gun. Uh, it feels like I've got their chakra running through my body again. It's kind of hard to describe because you've never done monk things, but it's something I'm familiar with. <laughs> just a passive shrug. I mean, I literally just said I did, but... Okay. Anyway. Back to Gundunaki. Yeah, you're literally insane enough that your boyfriend understands it. After we spent a tiny bit of time together before we started dating, it's also why you say, I'm not crazy, I'm insane, get it right. <laughs> oh boy. Love this Beast Tribe series, to be honest. It was the right amount of stupid to be funny. Yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly, right? Like, I I think it's why I enjoy most of Heaven's Ward's content the most in this game, even though it's not, like, necessarily a, a like, this is, this is fantastic, I love this as much as, you know, Digital Devil Saga 2. Uh, I do enjoy a lot of the stuff in Heaven's Ward because it still has that A Realm Reborn feeling to it where it doesn't feel like they're taking themselves too seriously with a lot of the stuff. They're just kind of rolling with it. There are times where they are more serious, of course, when the plot demands that they be more serious, but it feels more... It feels more, I guess in this way, it feels more Final Fantasy V-like, because Final Fantasy V knew when to be serious and when to be silly, and most of the time it was time to be silly with Final Fantasy V, so. And I appreciate that in a game. It's, um, it's better, I think, when you know when you can take yourself seriously, and when, because it feels like that way you can kind of define it, and you can, oh, it's up at Oxandu. Uh, you can kind of define the video game as a game still, then, because it's not like you're trying to make them feel like, oh, you gotta take me serious all the time. It's like, no, literally no one is serious all the time. Have a little fun. Jesus, it's a game. Come on. Where the hell am I going? She's down here. I thought we were going to see the chief. <laughs> I'm getting lost in Oxundu, and this isn't even the first time, because never rape was a thing. All right, Lino. I will see what I can do. Let's see what you've got. DDS2 was a fucking trip. You do literally fly into the sun. You transcend gender. You lose, like, most of the planet before you do all of this. <laughs> you turn into 30-foot-tall Superman. It's fucking nuts, dude. Like, <laughs> you can't take that seriously. It's so fucking ridiculous. You know, but it's, it's also awesome because it's so ridiculous. Just like this. This is going to be ridiculous. Give me the fucking Kaioken. <laughs> I, I love the mouth movement too there where it just gets stuck. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, my footsteps didn't shake the ground like they used to when I was a monk, so I guess I really have been out of it for a while. I hope he does, because if he comes back, I got a sun drop dance with his name on it now. Oh boy. <laughs> I have rekindled their fighting spirit. Well, good. If it rivals his dance already, then that means with all of you behind me, this is going to be even better. So, perfect. So that means all of you just have to practice, and then we'll be back, and we'll dance our hearts out. That's the plan. I kind of hope we don't have an instanced fight at the end of this in rank 7, actually, because it wouldn't feel right, I don't think, after this. You know, like, the Kojin had theirs, and it felt appropriate considering where things were going in their quest line, but, like, I kind of hope they don't do that in this one. Like, I hope they skip it. Because, again, it just it wouldn't feel right. Like, you're, you're supposed to stop them without fighting, you know? 
Yeah, no, never speak that dungeon name again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> can see that as part of King Kai's training, to be honest. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. It's just ridiculous enough to work, so. Oh, a new totem. Nice. They said they needed to build one of those, so it's good that they got around to it. So does Linu stay up here, or does she go back down to the island? Well, we'll find out in a second, because we've increased our reputation to honor rank 6. And we still get the three additional quests. So yeah, with those, I should... Okay, she does go back. Okay. Uh, with those three additional quests, I should be able to get them to rank 7 being available. Because uh, the Cogent have seven days from tomorrow. I think, if I did my math right. Um, so they'll be done by next Friday, and we'll probably be streaming next Saturday, so that should be fine. The Vanu Vanu get 150 each time. I already did their quest for today, so they'll only get 150, but it's still, it'll, it'll push them along. And they should be ready by next Saturday, so. Excuse me. Alright, uh, that takes care of that. I don't think we have anything else to go do, except for uh, go back to the first. And we'll work on turning in stuff, and we'll go buy some stuff, too, because... I've got, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a few things to go purchase, actually. And since we're here right now, let's go out to the Tomenos Rookery, because that's where the things I want to purchase are. You missed this dumb shit. Maxed all the Beast Tribes that come free Endwalker before Endwalker dropped. I need Dumb and Stupid back. Yeah, they... It doesn't seem like they do that a whole lot anymore. I mean, I haven't played Endwalker, so I can't tell you, really, if they do it a whole lot. But there's, like, a lot of Dumb and Stupid in the pre-Shadowbringer stuff. Maybe not as much in Stormblood, but in A Realm Reborn in Heaven's Ward, there was quite a bit of that dumb and stupid stuff, and I kind of I kind of miss it, too. So, to be fair. I just realized I don't think I'm going to be able to slot in all the materia that I want here, because I need some level 6 materia. And I'm not sure if I have the level 6 materia that I need. What materia do I need here, anyway? Uh, it's not at this thing, anyway. I need to buy deep shadow gear at this particular juncture. So I have 262 sacks of nuts at the moment, so because of that I'm going to take advantage of... Is this the healing one? Uh, it says I can't currently equip it, so I'm going to guess yes, but just to be sure, so I don't have to do some extra grinding. <laughs> uh, hang on, that's casting. Okay, so healing is the bottom one. It's a good thing I checked. Because I'm going to want to buy one of each, basically. So healing is the bottom one. And I mean, it's going to tell me. It'll tell me right here, so it's not really that big of a deal. So let's just buy one of each. I'm eventually going to want to get two augmented deep shadow rings of healing. And uh, casting, to be fair, because I'm going to need them for uh, summoner as well. But I want to get the healing ones right now, because I'm basically going to be healing both in the dungeon and the trial in the next zone that we're going to. And ideally, we'll get to that next zone today. So, um... Because of that, I want to give myself a little edge up by giving myself some extra eye level, so. I need, uh, one, two, piety level eight, and one, two, three, determination level eight materia. So we're going to go grab that. Uh, the sacks and nuts to get the other ring, by the way, I'll get those tomorrow because I already did the hunts for today. So. But you get basically guaranteed 12 uh, sacks and nuts every day. And then usually you'll get 15 out of the rank 3 ones, because they'll have one that's in a low-level area that you can just go kill. And that gets... So you almost basically get 27 guaranteed every day, which gets you... In two days, that gets you a piece of gear. So, I mean, if you just did these in 40 days, you'd have all the gear that I personally need. So It's pretty quick-ish. I mean, it sounds like a lot, 40 days, but... Really, you think about it, that's a month and a half, and we'll be at the end of Shadowbringers by then. And on top of that, I'll be unlocking flight and more things that I can kill the further along we get as we start getting into, like, Ilmeg, Raktika, the other parts of Almerang and Calusia. There will be more things available for me to kill because I can actually go to the places that they spawn at, so... Yeah. You've been at the level 83 part of the story for months. Yeah, I could see how that would be, you know. It'd make you want to keep going. Boyfriend's visiting family for the next five days, so he kind of can't play right now since he didn't take his laptop. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, maybe he'll have an opportunity once he gets back. We'll see. See how he, uh, see what he feels like, you know. All right, I need two piety and three determination level eight, right? Uh, piety eight, determination eight, piety eight, determination eight times two. I'm just going to leave my notes right here so they're right next to me. 
So, Piety 8 and Savage Might 8. That is 6, 7, 8. Yes, so I need three of these. And two of the Piety 8s. There they are. And these will go into the rings and the other accessories that I just bought. As for the level 7 uh, Cracked Planet Cluster Materia, uh, I don't know, just give me, like, 99 Heaven's Eyes, and then the rest in whatever. I don't even care. I'm just gonna sell it. <laughs> and then, uh, 21 Savage Aim 7s? Sure, why not? Okay. And now we just vendor the level 7 materia, because I'm never gonna plan on melding anything, because we're just gonna be using blue gear, and blue gear doesn't let you over meld anything, so I'll just do it this way. Feo Ul, good to see you again. Uh, need of Ghost Hammer, I suppose. You're going to have to drop a few things into his inventory so he can sell them, because I'm too lazy to walk over to the actual vendor. Uh, so I need these. I need those. And I don't need these, so goodbye. 15,000 gil, not bad. And then goodbye, an additional three. So that's like 18,000. That's not bad. Oh, I got all the materials that we need, by the way, uh, for us to make the... Uh, the ultimate food there, and that's what's in Ghost Hammer's inventory there, along with the Warrior Stew, which is a really good, uh, a really good recipe. And I can show you why, actually, because if we, uh, go to item help, right here, the one thing that I noticed, I found out this problem and then almost immediately solved it, was that if you, um equip all of the hand saints gear and you try to make the recipes in the master culinary and level eight book you don't have enough control to actually do it so i said okay well we're either gonna have to like over meld some stuff or alternatively we could just eat this because this gives you a hundred and twenty four control with the hand saints gear on along with you know 53 craftsmanship but we have enough of that so it's not really a big deal but this gives you more control than any recipe in Shadowbringers. period most of the Shadowbringers uh food items give you like half of that if that i don't know why this is so high i hope it's just an oversight and they never patch it but this is a fucking really good recipe if you need additional control and craftsmanship in order to do stuff and the the stuff that you need to make it is really like easy to source too like i can show you hang on let me go over to culinary so i can find it uh here it is right here it's like zochuk you can get this on the asm step i think most of the vegetables are also asm step and then the algae salts you can just get from uh getting the algae uh in the ruby sea so most of the things you have here i think girabanian carrots are the only thing that are like no girabanian carrots and i think mountain papados are both in uh over by Alagana. but again it's really not a huge chunk of stuff that you need in order to do this stuff so it's uh easy to source and it's again it's one of the best control recipes in the game so it's, it's definitely something i'd recommend for people i got a free company invite from some random person Let's see what uh, free company they're advertising. <laughs> yeah, the vocals kicked in. We got to hear the vocals again in the background, so that's good. Yeah, maybe it depends. Don't you fucking worry. I plan on hitting on 90 on all crafters, being stupid AF, and making high-quality piece of your own crafting, gathering gear, and pentamelding all of it. Yeah. You're going to need some materia, because that takes a lot, so... Do not miss the random FC invites. Yeah, I, I still get them, because I'm not currently in an FC, so... I've never had any luck with them, to be honest. The Taco Emporium. Well, that's too big. 198 people. Even if they have 26 members that are active, that's still too many people. I'm just going to let it run out. Uh, where am I going now that I did all that? I could put this stuff in here, I guess. Stick this here. Stick the materia in here for now. I'm just going to stick this like into the Deep Shadow gear that I just got, but I'll do that off screen because i got to go get some level 6 materia anyway, so it's no big deal. Okay, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on Summoner, and we're going to go to uh, the Pendants, because the next quest starts at the Pendants. And I need to check and see if Cole is on. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, there's uh, plumbing people at Cole's house because they 
they, so his heating over there is radiator based. Uh, so they have to like flush them out. So he might be a little bit late. That's okay. He can catch up. I gave him a little time. No big deal. Yeah, they're fixing his heels there, anyways. Yeah, I'll just let him know how much he has to catch up on if he uh, if he needs to catch up. No big deal. You have almost a hundred of all the material that you want. You won't know what you need until you start dying while melding. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, it'll be a process, but I'm sure you'll eventually get the pen to meld. It's just a matter of perseverance, I suppose. An unwelcome guest. Oh, good. Just what I want to hear after, quote-unquote, just waking up. Uh, that's the plan, yeah. Oh, so I suppose they're not taking it well that the Light Warden was killed, huh? No, probably not. I mean, it doesn't affect them in any specific way, because they're all the way over there, but, you know. Okay, well, it sounds like I need to go talk with Graha before he inserts his foot in his mouth. So let's go do that, shall we? And like I said, there is an ether current quest available over at the Pendants. I'm gonna take it when we are sent back out into Lakeland, so I think that's the next quest, if I recall. So we'll take it after this. I do have business with the Crystal Exarch. I need to make sure he doesn't make a fool of himself. So let's go have a chat with him and make sure he doesn't make a fool of himself. He sure as hell has been doing that around me a lot. Alphano, Alice, Graha. You are coming at a good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. I'll say. Yomar wants to shut you guys down, huh? Yeah, well, it looks like a Yulmore airship. Yulmore has sent one of its airships. So, what is Lax and Loft to all of you? Is it an important, like, strategic choke point? They have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here, even as we speak. Oh, okay. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. Just a little bit, yeah. Indeed, it was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. Pretty soon, according to the. The fact that they jumped on us almost immediately. My lord, I am come with the Yule Moran emissary. May I show him in? A moment, Captain, if you would. We need to reconvene. And, yeah, maybe shut down the, the portal mirror thing. Everyone, gather around. Hmm. Well, let's see what the plan is. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. So what do you want us to do then? Vanish. Oh, that's what you want us to do. He cast a glamour on us. You know, I could have just hidden on Ninja if you really needed it. Oh, alright. Fair enough. Well, well, the commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor? General Ranjit. The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. Were your people responsible? You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmore's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. I 
see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmore considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead and writhe as we might, like maggots at its rotting course, it will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yulmore's mercy promptly. One last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant, no. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you, I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. Boy, it's a good thing I muted my microphone during that whole sequence. I got a spam phone call, and that motherfucker would have seen me for days. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Block. Block. Trying to destroy our cover even though he already knew we were there. For shame, spam phone caller. For shame. <laughs> I am back on, right? Yeah, I am. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Is it bad that you like this scene just because you see vanished cats? Magic used for utility. Uh, SC, are you okay? You don't do shit like that. Not anymore, they don't. <laughs> I guess they figured they had to put vanish in here somewhere since they're trying to make a reference to as many things from, you know, the older games as they can. It's just that this is surprisingly not just a surface level reference like 80% of the other references in Shadowbringers. What? I didn't say anything. Anyway. No, he definitely did. He had a lock on our etheric signatures for sure. Yeah, he did. I had a lot to say there, uh, but I chose it would be better to hold my tongue because. Uh, I wanted to keep the illusion of us being vanished and keeping our mouths shut, you know. Not like he could have heard my breathing anyway, I've got a mask on, so. But that was General Ranjit. He's supposed to be the Xenos analog of this X Pack. I'm sure they'll use him for a lot of things and not just turn him into an obstacle. <laughs> One does not anyway. command the world's mightiest army and for so long without possessing exceptional instincts. Yeah, I can bet. If you more chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot, in good conscience, put your people in harm's way. I mean, they're already in harm's way, Alpha It's noble of you to say, Master Alpha but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Since, you know, the advent of the Sin Eaters. <laughs> Yulmore has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. That is true. The people of the Crystarium know this only too well. Which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight the last man. Now, I'm not really 
I don't have a problem with you training your soldiers to do this. In fact, I, like I said, I think you should have trained them more to, you know, actually combat the Sin Eaters in the however many years it's been since you got here. But uh, a question, Crystal Exarch, for you. If Yulmore decides they want to invade, why don't you just blow up Yulmore with the satellite beam that the Crystal Tower has had since the Allegan Empire? Like, it's not like you're lacking for ether in this world. I understand that it's a last resort. It's like a WMD, basically, but, like... I mean, it would cost significantly less lives if you did that, and I don't think you can throw people's lives away willy-nilly in a world that's lost 90% of its life, you know? Just a thought. Maybe don't play that card and then never use it. The Palamon Porum literally had the fucking smartest use of magic for utility you've ever se seen, and you only knew know of Final Fantasy IV. You haven't fucking played. That's true, they did use... I think they did that a few times, though, in Final Fantasy IV. Like, it, magic as utility wasn't really a thing in the Final Fantasy series before that. Uh, you could use, like, Toad and Mini in Final Fantasy III, but they wanted to take it a step further than just that. So they had, like, Rydia having to learn how to cast fire in order to get you around an ice obstacle on a mountain. And then they had them casting Break on themselves and a whole bunch of other stuff. Tell his use of Meteor. So... It needs to be a thing. Magic does all sorts of shit. Yeah, it would be it would be nice if they used it more for utility. If truth be told, I would not Yeah, and nobody used it for any type of combat. Why? He may have reason to delay. Hmm. What would his reason be, you think? According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. Oh. So do you think they want to make an exchange? To be none other than the Oracle of Light, Nilfilia. Why do you guys know that name? How do you guys know that name? It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Oh, okay. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. What do you mean generations of... I think I'm missing some context here. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean by generations of Minfilias? Ah, of course. How remiss of me. I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. Of course, because that's just how you guys roll now, huh? You, you need to use it for shock value, and they'll be like, Oh, I should have told you about that, but it wouldn't have been shocking! I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He'll be able to enlighten you. What, with another children's book? Alphino, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer in the matter. How does everybody know about this and no one told me? <laughs> all right. Though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. Okay, well, at least I'm not totally in the dark. Mm -hmm. Well, I am, but not I will everybody's like, oh, well, no, we know exactly what we need to know about this. So... Her literal favorite Dragalia Lost Girl arrest that came so was the first to use magic for surgical extraction, surgery in general. You have no idea. I fell in love. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. That's that's a tough thing to do. I mean, I feel like it's probably been done in books before, but it, it seems like something that might be... I could see people seeing that and being like, no, that's taboo. You can't do that. So it's, it's all the more that, you know, you'd use it and be like, no, break the taboo. <laughs> it's how you feel in real life. Everyone knows shit, but won't tell me. Why? Uh, absence of communication is a hell of a trope. It's so bad of a trope in media that it transcends media and ends up in real life. I blame generations of stories that almost exclusively bent themselves on <laughs> absence of communication as the crux of their plot. <laughs> Alright, let's go see Morin. It's raining. And uh, then once we've seen him, oh yeah, Captain Curiosity, here we go. We'll see what they need us to do in order to stop the impending war with Yomor that probably will happen anyway. Because if they're at war with Yomor, then Yomor can't be at war with me while I destroy all of the Light Wardens. <laughs> Not trying to throw anybody under the bus. Again, I feel like they could just use the satellite cannon, but, you know. 
Someone had a fucking venomous monster spine lodged in their body. Couldn't cut it out without making it worse. She thought using fire magic to actually burn it out. It takes skill, but she fucking did it. Now, that's pretty cool, then. That's a, that's a good use of, of magic as utility, I think. So. Well, I can imagine. The, the night sky is back, so... Although, actually, yeah, we're looking to learn about the Oracle of Light, so that's, like, the exact opposite. Oh. The Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light. Okay, fair enough. The level below. There are multiple levels below, actually, Morin, so which of those multiple levels is it? Oh, wait, you're not the secretary here. Never mind. You're interested in the lore, but you don't think about where you put the lore. <laughs> Okay. Nothing like a little busy work on the crux of an impending war. It's not like I haven't been here before. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps it's in here. Oh, look, a lookout spot. Do you look out there? Oh, book's not here. Maybe it's in one of these uh, bookshelves here. It is lookout. Well... I'm looking for a book by looking for a book. It says it's on this level, but like, like if you look at the map, it, do, it doesn't show an up or down arrow anymore inside of the thing, but that could be like any of these levels because up and down is like, it's relative. There's like a certain like Z axis level that you have to be on before it's like, no, it's above you or no, it's below you, so. But we'll see. We'll find it. <laughs> Just as your eyes begin to blur. Why would they blur? I'm literally a scholar and a summoner. Agency! Where is it? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about the agency thing. It's not a, a good time to talk about the agency thing just yet. It will be a good time to talk about the agency thing eventually. But that's more story-based. I've already laid my cards on the table in terms of the mechanics of this game, and honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm bound and determined to finish this, even if it kills me, uh, last time could have been a cut-off episode because of it, but we'll get into the story things later. I'm trying to spread out my ire, if possible, so that I'm not just throwing shit at the screen every day. <laughs> I did, in fact, find the book, The Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light. Her dad enriched their village a bit by using magic to do all sorts of shit. I was trying to write an entire book on the use of magic to make lives better. She took up the mantle after he died. See. Side game, stop being good at writing characters. Yeah, the night theme is good, that's true. Yeah. No, it's a good song. Oh, good, you finished all your pressing tasks. Okay, let me get my friends up here, and then we'll take a look at this children's book that will... Excuse me, illustrate for us the uh, tale of Menphilia since she, excuse me, was the first of the Scions to go here, even though she was at that point basically not Menphilia at all. She was basically just the Mother Crystal. So. It makes me wonder why the Mother Crystal referred to herself as Menphilia when she got here. Like, what reason would she have for not just calling herself Heidelin at that point? Would that be too confusing for people? Did they just forget that she was basically not Menphilia anymore when she got here? Because I wouldn't put that past them either. I mean, the time stability bullshit isn't even consistent within 5.0. So, you know. I always assumed your eyes were blurring because you sifted through that many books. Can you imagine going through that many bookshelves? Uh... Not in real life, but as a scholar slash summoner, I literally use books as a weapon. So yes, in, in character, yes, I could have seen myself going through that many bookshelves. <laughs> so. I'm surprised anybody saw her. I figured that, you know, they wouldn't have seen her. Like, it would have just kind of happened. She would have just appeared in a ball of light, and there wouldn't have been any witnesses other than Ardbert and the rest of the... Warriors of Darkness, because they would have just borne witness to it, you know? Uh-huh. Well, yeah, she was the Mother Crystal. She wasn't even Menphilia at that point, so... 
Yeah, character versus real life disconnects. Yeah, something like that. It has to do with the agency thing that I was just talking about. But again, I'm trying to spread out my ire, so we'll uh, we'll talk about the agency thing later. It's the cardinal sin of Shadowbringer's story. Uh, it has to do with agency, but we'll we'll save that discussion for another day. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I I see how uh, I could see how somebody who's immune to sin eater influence would be pretty uh, important to most people. Huh. And then she died. Yeah, because she was a soldier, so, you know. Minfilia will return, and then the Marvel movie credits start playing. <laughs> I mean, that's how biology works. If this woman had a child, then she would also pass down her traits to that child, unless this was... I don't know if they ever clear up whether these Minfilias are, like, the children of these other Minfilias, or if they're just, like, born immaculately to separate families across the world. Like, I wouldn't think that would be possible. There's not enough people left on this fucking planet, because 90% of all life is gone for them to just immaculate conceive multiple Jesus Christs across a hundred years, you know, but... Okay. Whatever. Well, that sounds like a shitty existence. She's forced to fight just because she looks like s somebody? Okay. Th this doesn't seem like a children's book. This seems like a cautionary tale. If you're born with Aryan traits, dye your hair. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I'm, I'm shitting all over it, but that's fair. They sound like formidable warriors, unlike Minfilia. She couldn't hold a knife to save someone's life. <laughs> she was a miner, not a fighter. So, she's reincarnated? Okay. Sure. All right. I think the implication is that when Mama Crystal possesses someone, she takes on Minfilia Ward's traits, so maybe that's why she was referring to herself as Minfilia, I guess. I don't know. I have questions that I'm not sure they ever really... Like, they, they say these things, and then they just kind of leave them there, and then they move on with the plot, and it just keeps happening over the course of this X-Pack, and I have more questions about, no, I need to understand, like, the how this works part, and it's like, you don't need to worry about that. It's like, no, but I do. <laughs> so. Uh-huh. Again, sounds like a shitty existence. Oh, okay. So then why take the Sin Eater killer? I guess to make sure that he didn't have any opposition, right? Uh-huh. Like a bird in a cage. These are all young children that are born normal, then inherited the power of Mama Crystal that turns into the next Minfilia. I mean, I guess you could headcanon it that way. I just... The game doesn't say how it works, you know, like, I, that's the part that gets, I mean, I guess they could be made to take, like, a ritual or something, where it's like, no, they are, they're blessed with immunity to Sin Eaters, we tested it, we put, threw her at a Sin Eater, and she couldn't turn, which, again, seems silly, because how many lives did you lose in the process of doing this, but maybe they're, like, made to go under a ritual, and then it's like, they just inherit the Aryan traits and the immunity, to, no, they would have the immunity already, but they just inherit the blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, Raktika Re. Oh, we'll get there, don't worry. We're getting closer by the day. <laughs> oh, and who was this gallant soul? I don't have a good grasp. I need to understand how the Minfilia training works and the trading of traits works. But I guess I don't need that because my character's nodding his head to leave like he's bored. Uh... Oh, hello! <laughs> I wonder if he's caught up. 
Treat Raktika the way Lyra treated Torvus Bog in Metroid Prime 2. I didn't see her do Torvus Bog. I haven't been back to her streams in a while, so. Uh, oh, Cole started to call. Let me join the call. Oh, hi. I am indeed caught up. You are indeed caught up. Good. I go slow, so that means that you can, uh, you know... Speed reading! Uh, yes. Anyway, Dad brought people over to fix my radiators, but I don't know if the radiators are fixed yet because they're not outputting any heat. Oh, okay. Huh. I'm cold. <laughs> That's understandable, yeah. And hungry. Please don't order my Twitch so I can pay my fucking bills. Oh my god. Well, probably what's going to happen is once they're finished over there, then the radiators will kick on because they're probably like finishing stuff up now that they're done upstairs. Were they upstairs? Treated Rocktik the way Lyra treated Torvus Bog in Metroid Prime 2. I lost my family in Rocktik. I got arrested in Rocktik. Yeah, uh, that's probably. Both of these things will probably happen to me as well. We have to get through the Feywild first. We do have to get through the Feywild first, though, so like I said, we'll get there. Oh, Thancred rescued Minfilia. Uh, oh. I, I thought he was over this. Is it like a twitch for him? Listen. Uh huh. On the road to recovery and grief, often one simply ch simply trips. That's realistic, though. Why does Thancred have to follow realistic thought processes when it comes to recovery? He's a character in a video game. <laughs> Have you ever considered that perhaps occasionally when the sun when the sun and moon line up and cause a full solar eclipse this game's writing can be good sometimes? Yeah. I just don't good. think it's in this X pack at all. <laughs> Struggling too. If you land this job and start getting a very good amount of pay compared to right now and then your money struggles will end. Well, that will be good. So like I said before, good luck with that. Hopefully it all goes well for you. I'm hoping for you. Same. I also need to get a job at some point, but I have to go take a trip in mm. February to go visit some people. Yeah. And it's going to be very expensive. <laughs> it will and then rain. after that... And after that is when you can work on getting the job. Well, I, I gotta mean, get my wisdom teeth ripped out of my mouth first. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, you can take some time off for that while working, but, you know, we can fix that part. You're fucking ringing at this part. He did this part of his character arc back in post Heaven's Ward. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, that's. I'm kind of on board really, with that. Okay. Honestly, like. I have opinions about this. Okay. I really don't mind Thancred going back to this part of his character development because honestly, I feel like this expansion gives him the closure he actually deserves, mm -hmm. as opposed to what he got in Heaven's Ward for uh, reasons that we'll get to later. Yeah, but he doesn't get to kill the obstacle. The obstacle. The obstacle. I'm not going to refer to him as a character, which, by the way, reminds me, Graha is actually the worst character in this X pack, in my opinion, because I was going to put somebody below him, but then I realized that he his story elements don't define him as a character because he doesn't get enough actual character to be a character. He's just an obstacle. If you don't know who I'm talking about yet, we'll get there. Don't worry. I don't know. There's one that might be worse than the X arc for a variety of reasons. Is this referring to Minfilia? This one's generally been enough, but fine. You know, I'm just going to say quite. I'm a ready to go, Crystal Exarch. Why am I referring to him as that? His name is Grahatia. Still didn't answer to it. It's like he's in a trance. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't get to beat the angel. This ain't Tales of Symphonia, I know. I feel in like the he, Exarch's he defense, have, the Crystal Exarch definitely rings off the tongue when it comes to being a glorious leader from a faraway land will really to do anything to die for his people and create civilization in a dying world rather than Grahatia. Yeah, but we're, like, the closest thing he has to friends. So, like, he doesn't have to refer to himself by his title around us. It just makes it feel like he's holding us at a distance which he's doing for a reason, and it's a really stupid reason, but we'll get there. <laughs> Besides, it's probably more appropriate than his old name, given he's turning into a rock. Yeah, but that's just a reminder of his crystal cancer. Why would you want to remind yourself of crystal cancer? <laughs> I 
what undertaking? The rescuing of Menphilia, or... Because honestly, at this point, I feel like it would be better if we helped you before Yulemore does some crazy shit. That we all end you up regretting. And what are the details of your proposal? Because I think, yeah, I need to hear the details before we all just go, what? You adopt this eager to attempt to Menphilia's rescue. And with your combined strength, you may well succeed. But as I said earlier, I do not wish to show our hand unless absolutely necessary. You don't think this is an absolute? I mean... The one person on this planet that's immune to the Sin Eater's influence is on the line here. You don't think There's this is an absolute? The sky that you restored to us but hope. In the defense of, Gra the in the defense of Grahatia, the world's already fucked. War would just make things worse. Like, Yulmore sucks, don't get me wrong, but we're talking about the apocalypse here. He said they'd find another reason to start a war, even if they got what they wanted here, though. So, True. You know. But that's not always a pleasant thought. No. But that's, because it means there will be inevitably more death, more Sin Eaters, and more problems, compounding into the hundred years of bullshit that the civilization has had to go through. Sure, but if he's not willing to look at all those angles, then why is he leading these people? I'm, I'm not trying to dismiss because even your opinion. Inevitable I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm not trying to dismiss your opinion, I'm just asking questions for the purpose of discourse. Fair. In essence, the whole thing is is that regardless of the inevitability of war, you still have to look through all other options possible, even if you see what is in front of you as inevitable, because you have to consider resources and opinions, which is exactly what Graha is doing in this cutscene. And I suppose he probably figures, well, there'll be another one born down the line. Yeah, Graha up, dude. I thought you died. I'm not familiar with that name. Should I be? Uh, but you have to be him. What do you mean you aren't him? Literally breaking down as you read him denying being Graha. Yeah, I don't think I got that part. I think you have to talk to him during your tour, and then he's like, he lets you say something like, sup, Graha, Tia, and then he's like, I'm not familiar with that name. I think I missed that thing, so... Yeah, no, again, part of the reason why Cole is here is because he holds this X-Pack in higher regard than I do. If it was just me here, we would have been done on the last episode. So. Like, this entire cutscene, <laughs> it illustrates exactly what, I'm, what I was just talking I about. Graha isn't just throwing his entire civilization into a war. He's taking everything into consideration, all resources, all possibilities, and preparing his people in charge of those for those possibilities, because he knows now that it is indeed inevitable considering everything on the line. Except he's not taking the elegant satellite cannon into priority, even though it's basically... I said it before, Do you think they though. have the resources to fire that thing? Yes. They have plenty of light ether. <laughs> In the defense of They didn't literally... say you needed a specific kind of ether to fire it. So. Okay, so. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's move forward with the cutscene now. We'll talk about the I'll, Elegant I'll, Satellite I'll Cannon. I'll auto-scroll the stuff while you talk about the uh, uh, Elegant Satellite Cannon. Okay, okay let, let's consider this. The Elegants were the definition of... Waste resources to blow up our enemies, no cost too great. For all they know, that satellite cannon could fire, blow up Yulemore, and then spawn, like, an, another army of Sin Eaters out of its residence, or the army, because the light aspect of ether of this realm is tainted. If they have other ether to fire the cannon, they would essentially be draining everything that's left but the light ether, with the exception of a little bit. The reason why he isn't using it most likely is because the light ether here is literally tainted, because, you know, Sin Eaters fucking charge you with it, and you turn into a horrible eldritch abomination so well, i'm trying to think here because you like, can't deny that i make a bit of a good point. no I, I think you make a point if they fire the satellite cannon and it hits the ground because then the light ether is just going back into the earth but by that same thought process when i shot a satellite beam out of my arms and split the pall over lakeland i would have been contributing to the light ether as well and it would have put this place closer to death rather than farther, which is the impression that Technically, I got. the whole thing that I, the impression I get from the Night Sky cutscene is that you're essentially discharging the Light Warden's power safely back into the environment, essentially ripping away its consciousness so that it doesn't suck into another person. Boy, I hope they let me do that in the rest of the dungeons. And since the Light Aether is no longer tainted and acting as malicious, the Night Sky returns because the Paul of the Light Warden is gone, because the Paul can no longer be consciously controlled by a dead light warden because you disperse it in the ether. Mm -hmm. 
You yeah. essentially suck so all of its power and none of its maliciousness. That seems convenient, but yeah. It's the Echo. Yeah, I, I know it's the Echo. <laughs> and the Echo does what the plot needs, so... This is not so. a decision to be made lightly, nor less alone. And so I put the question to you all. What should we do? See? Parliament, well, a good leader. tell me what we need. I was going to say, if anyone wants to speak up, go ahead. It brought tears to our eyes. This right here, this is why Gara has a good leader. I'm watching the stream, actually considering the input of his people and all the things. Yulmore's influence is far-reaching. Should war break out, trade would be subject to restrictions. It's true. The flow of goods will dry up, and we will struggle to make do with what little trickles through. But make do, we will. Real question is, don't you guys only have like five towns in this whole place? Like, what, how much trade is there other than with Yulmor, you know? So, they're like the prime oh, source of things. Is that not the very thing the Crystarium was built for? You guys did repurpose the Allegan technology for that specific reason, yeah, so... No, that's 14 in a nutshell, but it sucks. The Echo's too MacGuffin-y. I feel like they use it for MacGuffin-y reasons. Like, it isn't mcguffin at its base, but I feel like they've leaned on it more and more as a MacGuffin to solve a problem uh, over time. So. When all falls down around you, rise up. Those were your words. Then when he was a younger man. hope seems lost. That even should the rest of the world give in to despair, we shall not. We shall fight on, that our children and our children's children might know a better tomorrow. Even if we pluck them from their homes, like he Browsing did to all my friends. Much care for those you more and bastards anyway. No better than common swindlers, most of them. Wouldn't know a fair deal if it came up and kissed them on the arse. I like this cassard guy. I like the cut of his jib. <laughs> Trust you to spoil the moment. Wah, wah. It appears we have a consensus. We will fight. Let it be known that the Yomoran host at Laxon Loft has taken the Oracle of Light captive. They fear the power she holds over the Sin Eaters and doubtless intend to imprison her once more. Probably. So, I move that we rescue the Oracle, grant her a place among us, and let that be our answer to Yulmor's ultimatum. Hear, hear! Hear, hear! Sounds like everybody's in agreement with you, then. So, we know what we need to do. In planning a strategy for the rescue, I open the floor to you all. Yeah, that's that's where the the rub is, isn't it? If you more wishes to denounce us as villains, then we shall embrace our villainy. Will you do so as well? I mean, I've done that regardless of what people have thought of me in the past, so sure. Why not? We will not be outdone. Consider us your partners in crime. Too cold outside and too much cold air gets in without your fucking windows being open. You have the heat on and it's still chilly. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, there there might be like a leak somewhere. Like the windows may have like a, a draft or something. That's not good. So where would you have us go, Mr. Crystal Exarch? My lord, our proposal is as follows. Well, that was fast. We begin by deploying Amaro to occupy the skies over Lakeland. They should serve to delay the airship's departure. That makes sense. So now after what the after same that? Time, we scatter dream powder from the air. And what is this dream Not powder? Not come to its effects, but it should thin the enemy's numbers, Sleep powder. affording us an opening to swoop in and liberate the Oracle. How will it not affect us simultaneously? Would have been a good detail if they gave us actual Since gas masks during this part. I think it's because it's going to scatter down on the soldiers before we ever engage. And by the time we actually engage, it's not going to be in the air anymore. We'll have already absorbed into the soldiers and caused them to go to sleep. 
I hope you're right, because otherwise we're going to have a lot of sleeping soldiers. <laughs> it's a leak near this damn window. It's where my desk is, so I work over here. Love and miss winter, but damn, yeah, that's... that. See, that's the part that sucks about winter, is the being cold part. Speaking for my fellow It'd be nice if the heat in my apartment worked. Christ. Though we draw the line at I had this little ass space heater. That's all I got. Your heat will come Huddle back on. That. I have a fireplace in my front room, but my computer's in my back room, so... Mm. <laughs> it sounds like you need to use your front room a little bit more. <laughs> the only thing in there is my Switch and my TV. I literally live on this computer. I know. Sounds like you need to find some Switch games that you've had on your backlog and play some. <laughs> yeah, I know. So Just... you can use your fireplace. I also really need to, like, actually fucking clear out the front room so I can use the fireplace. I do have a fireplace, Murray. I don't use that front room a whole lot because my TV and all that other shit is in there. Before, my TV was my monitor, so that's why I used to be able to watch more TV, but since I moved over here, I haven't used the front room a whole hell of a lot because I would prefer to be warm and on my computer. Her salute was the same as my salute. Was that that wasn't the storm salute though, was it? I think that was a different salute. I forget. Anyway. We gotta go to the crystalline main to get fitted with gear. As is not unusual, Murray. My dad just happens to find these things. <laughs> he does find things, that's true. He has a Like fireplaces that. that apparently he gave to me and my mom for free to warm ourselves during this cold, cold, bitter New York winter. <laughs> I love how you get uniforms. Actually, the uh, Crystarium stuff that you get here is pretty decent fashion-wise. It gives you um, oh. armored, like, hands and feet, uh, which might not necessarily be common on some classes, like casters or healers, so you can get that armor look without having the actual armor, you know? So, I'm not a big fan of the helmet, but, eh. Okay, good. And what are you going to give me in terms of an outfit and should I just wear it for the cutscene I don't have the glamour prisms for this <laughs> I got I got a couple on me you can borrow here you go I keep like 20 in my back pocket yeah. uh what numbers are we talking oh my measurements okay. your measurements fair enough yeah same brain cell yeah, it just clicked. I, I don't normally get measured. I don't go to a tailor. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, normally you don't have child-sized soldiers on the field unless it's a Minfilia. So. You fucking rocked blood red high Allegan. It looked like you were important in Crystarium's military. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Especially since the Crystal Tower's right there. Lax and Loft. That's where this will all go down. Okay, sounds like a plan. And where would you have us go in the unit? Okay. So we're going to the Imperative. Alright. Fair enough. We're going to Fort Job as well, but we'll get there in a minute, so. Spagerix. Okay, so there we go. They do, in fact, explain how we're not going to get succumbed to the Dream Powder. They give us a, an, a, an anti-venom, quote-unquote, for it. So, there you go. Alright, Captain. Can you use an Amaro to get to the Rookery? Okay. Or from the Rookery to get to the Imperative. Fair enough. I have reason to go to Fort Job, though, even though we're not supposed to. There's an Aether Current there, but we'll get there. Need more parts of the game to use the map like this. Praise for the expansion. <laughs> we gotta find it where we can, right? Yeah, but it, it's nice that they can use the map for that sort of stuff because it makes it feel, like, strategic, you know what I mean? That they're doing that stuff. I mean, we really could just jump off the lift there, but I feel like Spagerix would need us for more than just giving us a serum if we jump off at the top of this place. It'd also be resetting our legs, so I'll just I'll just take this route. Oh look, Cole's already ahead of me. 
because he sprinted jumped off. and jumped off, yeah. God can't stop me. I've killed gods for a living. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I'm Dragoon, you could in fact just jump off the edge because your legs don't break when you jump off of cliffs unlike the rest of us, so. Oh my hip! Yeah, that's me every time I jump off a cliff. Chesamil? Yes, ma'am. Cool, thanks. I will quaff it. Oh, okay. I mean, I've had stuff that's bitter as sin before. I'm, I'm a bit of a culinarian myself, so... I, uh, I've, I've made some food that doesn't exactly turn out right. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Let's drain this potion. Prince's kiss. Down the hatch. It is pretty foul, yeah. I don't know about enjoying it, but it is pretty foul. Yeah, no, I don't know about growing limbs back. I might be able to do that with my uh, m with my magic, but not on this class. I'd have to switch to a healer. <laughs> I can just build you a new arm. Isn't that more your thing? I said, yeah, but I'm not going to fucking leave you armless. I'll just build you a new arm. <laughs> Maybe I can just ask the auspices to regrow it for me like a starfish. <laughs> Terrifying. Have a nice day. Alright, before we go to Tomato's Rookery to turn this quest in, I'm actually going to go back to the Pendants, because that Ether Current quest that opened up over here is available, and I want to take it before the, the story sends me out of the Crystarium and into Lakeland and not back to the Crystarium for a while. Should probably make sure I get all the Ether Current quests that I can. Probably a good idea. Should come over here to the, the baby nursery and see if you can grab it. Oh, Grilled Rail. Normal quality Grilled Rail. My fave! Oh, there's a, there's a baby nursery in this place, huh? There is. Look, see? She's got a baby. Huh. Thanks to Marie's OCD while grinding. I have a master chef in 14. Love it. Cooking is hard AF. Yeah, I, I guess it depends on the level of the recipe and stuff, but yeah, cooking can be... In real life, cooking can be a bit of a hassle, depending on how it all goes. So. And what do you need at Fort Job, ma'am? Chathwick. Okay. I'll go deliver it. I'm already on my way out to the Amaro launch that'll take me to the Imperative anyway, so what's a little quick pit stop? Paul, well, if you can't fly in this entire expect before you finish, I'm excommunicating you. That's why he's doing these quests with me, because he doesn't want to miss me getting Aether Currents. <laughs> so. I'm excommunicating you. <laughs> oh no. Sam, I'm ready for my flight. There's another lookout point over there. Oh shit, I went to the wrong place. Wah, wah. Where'd you go up I top? went to the Amaro launch to go yep. to the Amaros. That makes sense. I'll have to go by foot. Okay, that's fine. I have to make a stop at Fort Job anyway. Okay, well, let's hear it then. What's the other way? And yeah, this one will get you the ether current for this section, so... Radiska's round is that tower in the middle of Lakeland, isn't it? Yeah. That's fine. I can do that. I am well known to not do ether current quests during expansions. Endwalker, what? <laughs> okay, so they send us out the ex out to the Accenser Gate. But before we go see Sam, let's go to Fort Job and actually like uh, turn this part in chat with so that, that way we don't just like take a flight i guess cole's taking a flight oh. well when you go to the imperative you'll just set yourself the ether like attuned to the etherite and then you can come back to fort job just flying to fort again, job so. it's fine oh, okay that's fair i didn't realize it was free flight that's why i did this so oh well i still have my one nut bills in there i should probably discard those because i don't need the rest of them Oh, so she was probably pretty worried about you then, yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough, then. Yeah, I mean, I was there. Didn't see how it all panned out, but I was there. I try. It's not exactly something that I enjoy doing, but I try. Alright, sure. Why not? The person that killed the Sin Eaters at the Holminster Switch 
deciding to pass out uh, parcels. Sandwiches? I don't know what these are supposed to be. They're sandwiches. Oh, okay. Where is this one that's right next to them? Oh, it's behind the fence. Okay. This this isn't a fence. This is a this is a rock wall. No, it's on top of this. Okay, I see. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, see, this is what I was oh, talking no. about before when I say, no, it depends on where the z-axis points you to. Because sometimes if it's above you, but not too far above you, it won't tell you it's above you because you're not... It's not high enough above you where the z-axis actually makes a difference, so, you know. Man, real life, Marie's learning, but she actually impressed how fast she takes to some things. Yeah, real life cooking can be its, its own reward, but it can also be its own nightmare, depending on how bad it goes. <laughs> so... Suspect you might have been on the spectrum your entire life and was never diagnosed. Saw a tweet a while back posted in a server to attack all of us at once. It read something like, so all of you highly intelligent males who didn't know how to talk to girls you liked, how's your transition going? Have you accepted that you're neurodivergent? Yeah, wow. That's... Uh... I feel like that's really mean. <laughs> yeah, okay. It isn't so much as being attacked as being shot in the chest with an anti-material rifle. That would hurt, yes. If you could feel anything after your body exploded. From it's the not mean. It's so right. fucking on point that it hurts. Understandable. Uh, okay. All right, I got three more sandwiches to pass out here. I, see I am one also of them occasionally hiding. violently assaulted on my feed with things that are on point. Shot in the chest with an anti-material rifle. I can't believe a gun came out of my phone and shot me. Here you go, thinker. Sandwich. Senzu bean. Thinking. I have, in fact, brought you a sandwich. Have have fun with that sandwich. Sandwich. Yeah. Hey. God, I really hope we don't have to go back to the fucking Crystarium to turn in this damn quest. I mean, we have a return point. I'm aware. <laughs> and then we can just go out the door and walk 500 feet to the extensor gate. So. Oh, thank God we don't. It just turns in with him? Yo. Okay, well, that's nice. How many ether currents do we even need for this place? I think we got two more. One of them is over by the Imperative. Or no, I think actually one of them is by Radiska's Round. Two more by field ones, and the, then uh, three more quest ones. Yep, and we're going to be doing the quest ones before we do the instance, so don't worry about that part. Oh, thank God. So we'll be, we'll be done with all the Aether Currents before we leave here, because after you do the instance in this area, you leave uh, Lakeland, and there's a pretty decent reason not to come back. So uh, I'll be coming back to do hunts, but that's off-screen, so... In character. I'm unfortunately going to be stuck in the place. The Feywild. <laughs> Not again. You've been there before, huh? Not again. They actually locked the gate. Like, I literally, I was doing some hunt stuff, and I had Chiliad commas, which are up in Weathering, all the way up here by the stay. So I went and looked. I said, is there, like, a way to get in here? And no, the gate is locked. There's, like, you can see the transition barrier where you can normally just pass across and go to a new area. And it, there's just a gate in front of it that you can't pass through. So it, like, it tempts you. It teases you, but it doesn't let you through. <laughs> Much like the Fae. Yeah, actually, that's pretty on point. I mean, it's like that for Raktika as well. If we went slightly north of here, there's just a gate. I think there's a guard outside of that gate, though, so at least there it makes sense. But the gate at the Feywild is unguarded. Probably because no one wants to go there, but, you know. I mean, the last guard that got put there got turned into a bush. Oh, good for him. <laughs> he did not get better. No, he, he turned into a newt, but he did not get better. Oh, look, the B rank. Hey, look, the A same brain cell. Pretty much. There was a little murderer in Calusia not too long ago. That's the A rank for the lower sections. So A little murderer. <laughs> you, that's what he's called, little murderer. It's actually a reference, though, because they uh, it's one of the goblin palette swaps from as far back as Final Fantasy II GBA, so yeah. 
Listen, first rule of the Feywild. Do not speak to the Fey, do not interact with the Fey, do not acknowledge the Fey, and never say thank you or please. See, I'll be fine with the Fey because I still have my Scholar Pixies, so I have an inherent, like, natural attunement to them. You're screwed. <laughs> You put Why your scholar you crystal back. You gave it to Satoto. <laughs> You're yeah. Screwed. Why do you think I brought the flamethrower? Yeah. Well, fair enough. I know one thing about Fey. They're vulnerable to fire. Oh my god. Till there are a lot of transfems you know are on the spectrum, and all of them are at some point in a transition. So yeah, okay. See, I don't, I don't know much about that process, unfortunately. It's it's just not something I've experienced, so it's hard for me to know a lot about it. Nine total, five quests, and there should be four field ones. That place fucking terrified you the entire time you're going through this x pack. The people who did their research for that area were so on point. That's why you wanted to leave. I don't want to be a bush. Call, I don't think that'll help. <laughs> we're going to find out. Okay, we're off to Radiska's round. They're trained to return to the rookery. Oh, okay. So I can just come back here. Fair enough. Off we go. Now, if we wanted to, we could go explore the rest of the map in this area now that we have the Amaro, but I can go do that later. It might be a good idea to fly near Laxenloft just to get the discovery for it. I mean, it's already on the way anyway, so I guess we might as well do that. Interesting island oh, over there. Oh, I, I was trying to figure out why I just went down a little bit. It's because I was uh, holding shift in space. That's how you descend. You know, without just doing it. Where the bloody hell you going? Just getting a little look at where we're going to be doing that instance, and also seeing if I can find the ether current. 279 to the west, okay. There's Proterosuchuses up here as well. Those guys are, uh... I've, I've had to fight them on my on my hunts as well. There's actually uh, an yes. easier way Fort to get job. to them, though, so... Also known as the toilet. 60 to the southwest. There's a lookout spot there. Oh, the ether current's right here at Radiska's round, so... It's fine. I'm gonna go up to the lookout spot, let the Amaro go, and then I'll, uh, I'll join you down there. Cause, There's the uh, current. As you can plainly see from my experience bar down there, Summoner and Scholar are both almost level 80, and by the time we get to the next uh, area, I'll have taken enough experience points in from quests to be able to get them to 80, so I can actually wear those rings that I got for Scholar just a few minutes ago. Well, it was more like 45 minutes ago at this point, but you get what I mean. You will kill the land, oh. and they will just revitalize it and punish you. <laughs> Listen, oh last time I was in the Feywild, my character got traumatized, he got cursed, he got his heart ripped out, he replaced with a crystal, he had to marry the Queen of Air and Darkness, it was not a good time. Oh my god. Oh, we have to actually take the Amaro over here. Okay, well then we'll just walk back to the Accenser Gate then, won't we? Listen, anytime the Fey are mentioned in a D&D campaign now, I have a fucking adversarial. Every bone in my body, every molecule of my being immediately flies into fight or flight. They are locked on fight. That's <laughs> what you get. Every ounce of my being. That's what you get for putting your Scholar Crystal down. <laughs> we could have shared the Fey Union. I probably would have died at the Gimlet Dark, but we could have shared the Fey Union. <laughs> My new healer gear is so cool, I built it. Yeah, I know. Can't build a mechanical weight. Mechanical fairy? I could just build them. I could just build a mechanical fairy. We can rebuild them. Better, stronger than before. <laughs> For like a million gil. Not stupid that you facts, have uh, that problem. Stupid facts with Cole. Uh, in the D&D lore for uh, a bunch of things, there is actually a bunch of mechanical fey called the Iron Court. They are led by a mechanical pixie dragon that wants to mechanize all that wants all of the Feywild to become an industrial hellscape. Uh-huh. You'd be asking yourself, what in the nine hells are Mecha Fey doing there? Well, you see, there is a reason why Fey are weak to iron in most fiction. It is because the Iron Court is the thing keeping the Feywild in line and making sure that the Fey don't cause an actual cosmic apocalypse with their blue-orange morality. Oh, okay. I don't know what most of that means. Oh, well, I okay. want to live. Keep those fucks away from me. <laughs> Fair enough. So where would you have me go then, round sentry? Straight to the imperative. Okay, well, it was a good thing I stopped off anyway because we had to get the ether current here and we would have had to walk back here anyway. So. Keep those fucks away from me. <laughs> 
Oh boy. So I'm gonna guess then that the last one is somewhere at or near the imperative, considering what my compass says. They really just left all the easiest ones except for that one in the locks, didn't they? 83 Northwest, so let me see where it is before I take this Amaro down. Oh, it's right inside the Imperative. Okay, let me take the Amaro down before I have to fly it again. All right, sounds like a plan. Take it on. Uh, recently is a very strong word, yes. <laughs> so. Thanks, I'll try not to mess anything up while I'm here. <laughs> Keyword is try. Okay, so the captain's already here. Let's attune to the Amaro Keep, grab the ether current that's right over there, attune to the etherite, and then we'll go see the captain. And I think during the next quest, before the instance, I think they give you an excuse. They're like, hey, if you've got anything else that you need to do now before the instance, do it now. And so that's when we're going to do the ether current quests here, is basically when they give us an excuse, because they're like, I think if I remember right, it's like, there's still some time before the battle, so if you want to get ready, or something like that, so... Fey are horrifying creatures when they're run properly in a D&D campaign and written correctly in fiction. <laughs> you like and respect the Fey, but you know to keep your distance. Yeah, I guess I'm... I guess I, uh... I guess I relate to them too much because I'm also a practical joker, so I'm I'm not going to take that advice and I'm probably going to die. But that's okay. You'd R be right Rory's at home here. in the she summer can take court. The mantle. Uh huh. You'd be at home, right at home in the summer courts. I mean, don't if go near the winter courts. I ever. mean, if Feo Ul has their way, then yes, you are exactly correct. <laughs> so, why are these sky watchers still in the game when you can use uh, Truth of Oceans? I forget if it's Truth of Oceans or another Fisher skill to determine when the weather comes back. It's like Lilith from weather the comes back. Lost. You'd be fine if you think she's not that bad, but as somebody who knows the first move she uses to jumpstart her AI is literally called shirt-coated statism. Yeah, that's a hard pass for me. Keep me the fuck away from her. Sounds like Harley Quinn. Uh, well, Sugar-coated uh, statism might be. I delivered the Amaro, but the Amaro delivered me, and then I jumped off it to get an ether current, and then I had to go back and get it. It was, it was a process. No, that's fine, Captain. I'm all for this. I haven't had this since I was in the Maelstrom, so I'm all, I'm all good with this. Give me more orders. Here's the Crystarium stuff. You don't get it until after the quest is over? Maybe they put it on you for this cutscene. I forget. I think it might be a glamour, actually. They might stick it on you for the cutscene. So. Oh, okay. Are you sure they're still going to eat it? All right, sure. We get to feed tomorrow. Fantastic. This opens up the other ether current quests, by the way, here. There's one, two, three. The Astute Amaro, Imperative Repairs, and an Unreasonable Request. So, uh, let's go feed the Amaro first, and then we'll do the ether current quests, because I think, if I recall correctly, by the way, this is... Yeah, we're all out of the field ones, so I'm just checking. Um, because I think, after you feed them, that's when the thing opens up where you can go do the instance, so... Lucky. Not that instance. That instance is later and will make me Do much you know angrier. Lucky. That instance <laughs> is later and will make me much angrier. Listen. 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 That was the most out of nowhere funny thing that I could have ever imagined. Sokin is a troll. Oh boy. Do you know Lahi? I have some fodder for you. Uh, alert Amaru. There you go. Simply refers to that song as Lahi. Yes. Oh good, he ate it without any questions whatsoever. Fantastic. This is like feeding chocobos back at the stables. It's one thing about living in an apartment complex. You get to feed a lot of chocobos. Because people put them in there all the time. Like in between their battles and stuff. This one's up upstairs, isn't it? Yep. This one's upstairs, isn't it? Thank you for the accent. Why? I don't know. Okay. Because God can't stop me. That's true. Look, the term fucking horrifies you. You want to fucking live. If you die, you don't want to go out that way. Oh, fair enough. Indolence! Have some feet. This one's not as enthusiastic. That's okay. No, oh, he's just absent-minded. That's all. Good boy, I understand the absent-mindedism. 
I'm never gonna have an Amaro mount. Is a joke character? I'm never gonna have an Amaro mount, so I'm totally going to like make sure to pet as many of these as I can now. It's also why I use the Amaro for flight pretty often during these X packs. It's mostly gonna be off screen here because, like, you do a lot of hunts and stuff, and that way you can just kind of AFK, you know. But I do use them, so. Yeah, well, wary is understandable considering what you're eating, but goodbye. Uh, if you get to the point where the instance shows up, Cole, uh, just go grab the Ether Current quests and start doing them because I'm gonna. There's one of them that's like two quests. It's a ch quest chain. You get the Ether Current from the first one, but I'm gonna do both of them just because. So. This one know. seems a little. Uh, are you are you dying over there? I broke my legs. You, I got better. You use second wind, right? Yeah, you're right. The Samaro is the most wary of the bunch. I understand. Oh, you're doing the Aether Current quest now, right? Is that why you're walking out of town? Yes, because I figure, okay. why not? I can just fly you there if I, to get all the quests <laughs> as opposed to that. Yeah, I suppose. All set, Lena, or Captain? Sorry. Capitan. Okay. That's the hope, ma'am. We'll see if that's how it works. So we gotta go up on top of the tower in order to do this part, but we'll go up to the tower later. Oh look, a phoenix. What the phoenix doing? Uh, jumping off of the tower. Being the worst fight in the entire raid tier of Endwalker. I think it's a phoenix anyway. Yeah, it's a phoenix. I hate that it's pronounced like that. I legitimately feel nothing but hate. <laughs> you know, I had a thought about not Phoenix, but Phoenix. I, I said when I had... I, it was a whole process. I had to resummon my soul crystals after I nearly died. But I said when I fought Bahamut, you know, it's always been you and me, buddy. What if it wasn't just him and me? Mm. Mm. I'm going to regret mm. this. I'm going to lose DPS for this. <laughs> I, st I still stand by it, Temporal Trance. Let me summon Alexander. I, I, I can't believe they didn't do that in Endwalker. <laughs> I can't believe it. It doesn't I'll feel do it real. The then we'll get Omega Trance. Oh, off he goes. It's possible, yeah. I will see Imagine if I can just find be... the rider. Imagine just being able to summon Omega. <laughs> Literally just cast Omega, he summons Kefka. O-M-G-T. Omega Trans. O-M-G-T. I hate. Why does Temporal Trans sound like such a badass ability? That's why I said they should have done it, man! Alexander was a primal, so even if it was built, you could still summon it by the virtue of how summoner crystals and shit works. I'm gonna take all these quests, because probably they're all gonna take me out into Lakeland anyway, so... Spoiler alert, that's true. I say as I'm doing them right now. <laughs> uh, Major, I'm here to ask if you need any help, actually. I'm not trying to stroll past you. I will take it to Radiska's round, then. By Amaro. <laughs> this, this is why we uh, hit up the Amaro Keep, because what's going to happen is I'm going to go to the Amaro Keep, and I'm going to pay them the fine to go to Fort Job. And Radiska's round just so happens to be halfway between Fort Job and the Imperative. So, I'll let the Amaro fly halfway to Fort Job, I'll dismount, I'll get to Radiska's round, I'll turn in the quest, and then I'll just teleport back to the Imperative, and it'll be far faster than walking to and from. I think these things through sometimes. You Where? are occasionally have a brain. You occasionally have a brain cell. Where the hell is this other ether? But I'm not stealing person? it. Yeah, well, sometimes that happens. They're inside, aren't they? No, they'd have to be up further. How do I get up further? I need to get higher, Cole! Oh, uppies. I, I need uppies. I need someone's head to jump off of a new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Welcome to my hell. <laughs> I say being three feet tall. Yeah, sorry, that was probably lame of me. To say, not considering, racist, at least. considering you're... It's not like the dwarves. Yeah. I, I still can't believe that. Like, I, I can't believe they just call people that here. Yes, I understand it's a D and D thing, but like, I'm trying to use think about it in character where it's like, no, that's a 
You're insulting them every time with... you say it. And there's that shit with the helmets. Mm. Yeah, sus. that's uh, yeah, a little, a little on the sus side. Yeah. Oh, look, another lookout. Point. You can actually hear it when Rory jumps off a cliff from half a mile away. At least it's not 20 years from now. Where the hell is this ether current person? I can't find it. It says it's on top of me, and I'm as high up as I can go. It's got to be down here, then. It's lower. Ow. This my, tower my is a hell leg. It's got to be down here, then, right? I'm going to have to climb all the way back up. If I fuck this up. Okay, I might have fucked it up. I fucked it up. Oh, you're down here. <laughs> Ow. I found what I was looking for. It's fine. My broken leg will heal. <laughs> <laughs> the warrior of light being able to fall from infinite height and survive. I am a JRPG protagonist. That's one power that you and I share, you know. Because you're you're also even secondary protagonists get this power. So they didn't then the parties of four wouldn't be able to survive the falls. Yes, exactly. So what do you need repaired? Oh, I think I remember this one. You have to climb the whole tower in order to do this one. So, uh Good thing I already climbed it, so now I know where I might have to go. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get this done. It's fine. We're definitely getting to the next area today. Because basically, like I said, you get the instance, and then you're almost immediately sent to the next area. So, did you fall again, or are you just stretching? I'm stretching. Oh, okay. I should probably do that, too. You should have <coughs> things in your Twitch chat that's water break, stretch. I saw that in other people's chats. I thought that was a cool idea, actually, for using channel points. I might do that when I, like, rejig how suggestions work. I might, like, put hydration breaks and stretch breaks and all that stuff in there. Because I feel like I'll forget, even if I'm saying, no, you really like should stretches. do this stuff. So I'm going to throw out those one nut, that one nut set of bills that I have, because I don't need those anymore. Those are the ones from today. Uh, it's my key items. Here we go. Let me just double check, though. Yeah, these are the ones. I, although, Atten Moths aren't that far away when we get into Ilmeg, and we're getting into Ilmeg today, so maybe I'll hold on to it and just go kill an Atten Moth when we get there. So I can get my nut sacks. Listen, if Square Enix isn't sorry about calling them sacks of nuts, then I'm not sorry about saying that every time that they're gonna make me say it <laughs> by the way for anybody who's unsure about well you know are you sure you really should be doing the hunts I mean I don't personally need them all that badly I don't have a whole ton of exp that I need to get but they are in combination with the next beast tribe quest in Shadowbringers that's available it's the first one out of all of them that's available if you do those and you do the Beast Tribe quests, they're a pretty solid way to uh, boost yourself up in terms of levels. They can level an entire DPS in, I don't know, probably a couple of weeks from 70 to 80. It's not bad. My leg. Funny story, you did your B rank after my previous stream, you had to kill them off. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's like, it, the game was like, nope, brain cell. There's one on the back of this place, by the way, if you're doing the mortar quest. Did you already do that one? Or... I've already done that one. <laughs> I'm laughing at a meme Marie sent me. Oh, That's okay. adorable, but it's also funny. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. I'm going to break my legs again, but I have a solution this time. Wait, where are you jumping off from? Uh, not the top. Wee! And now my solution? Physic! You know what? I can't. I can't even. Why does Verkir work and Physic doesn't? <laughs> like, what excuse do you still have of not having Physic work when Verkir works? <laughs> ah, la, la. Hey. Anyway, I'm not familiar with the history of the Imperative. I just got here. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I recall correctly, Volbertenberg was uh, like an Elven land a long time ago. They've kind of dispersed since then. No, well, fair enough. I mean, it looks vaguely Ishgardian in its building structure, so without all the snow. So this is what 1.0 Kurthus looked like. Eh. 
That's another ether current down. Which ones have you got left? Or are you done? Hey. Hey, hold on. Hey, hey. Hey! Uh, the Astu tomorrow is there, and the reasonable request is that Radis goes around. Oh, you've already got flight. Up on. I did. Let's fly! Alright, so the flight systems on this thing aren't quite tuned yet, but uh, here we go! Wow. That's a fancy transform sequence, and look at my cape billowing in the wind. Uh, should I set a flag for you? Yes, please. Okay. Set a flag for me. There you go. <laughs> That's the first one. Yeah, Volbert, that was a kingdom at some point, yeah. Love it, it's a star scream. It really is, though. <laughs> it was not wrong. Okay, I will jump off. We'll you, can, you. you can hang here while I take care of this sentry tomorrow. Hello, buddy. Damp soul, huh? Is your rider out there? I, I guess his rider's out there. Well, there are zoners in my way. Okay, bye, Cole. <laughs> He's looking at something. I thought he was getting payback for when I left him as a ninja back in Amarang. Open your map. Okay. On Strimp. It's down by the the. <laughs> I could just set a flag for you if you really. It would probably go faster. Slightly to the. There we go. Well, uh, actually, it's to the west of here, so you're right. Yeah. Don't fly us into Lake Anemones. I'm still going to get attacked. Call, I'm being attacked! And actually, you're being attacked. Never mind. <laughs> I'm safe. It is expensive. This mount, I don't... It, how much did this cost you, anyway? Oh, somebody bought this for me. Hang on, I'm going to set a flag for you. Oh, somebody bought it for you. Okay, that makes it a lot easier then to get it. That's nice. Yeah, there's the flag for you. It's also concurrently the only two-person mount I own, which I find to be incredibly amusing. Well, pretty soon, uh, you will be able to fly no matter who's doing it, because I'll be able to fly in the Capsule Corp car, so... This anemone is going to... Totally mess with me while I'm talking this tomorrow. Oh, look, he found the sentry. This is your friend, huh? I will tend his wounds with physic! No, I won't, or this man will die on me. Have a healing salve, friend. It's like 30 bucks. You have the wedding chocobo. She paid for the wedding, but it was my wedding! <laughs> that was nice of her. <laughs> with my wife, not Marie. Do not confuse. That was still nice of her to pay for the whole thing. Uh, your Amaro led me to you, actually. And I hope he'll lead me out of here before that lake anemone tries to make lunch of us. Old of you to assume that I would, that my cruise chaser would allow that. Yeah, that's true. I turned off mount music, by the way, which is why we didn't hear exponential entropy when we were on that. I should probably turn it back on. Because I'll be able to fly soon enough, and then we can get to hear the hammerhead theme. Actually, I don't think you it's the hammerhead turn it on now, theme. so... Here, exponential yeah, hold on, entropy hold on, don't going. go anywhere yet. Hold on, wait, let me turn it on right now. There we go. Go ahead. Let me turn it on as well. System config. Uh, did I give you the flag? Is it in your chat, or did it not show up yet? Well, oh, no, it has not shown up yet. There you go. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, system config in the audio settings, so... It's not fair. How the fuck do people know you're freaking out before you got to the chapel? Thought I was doing such a good job hiding my nerve. Well, it is a wedding. People freak out, like, by default for weddings. So, like, I, I guess I'm not really shocked that people knew that. They could have just been saying it instinctively. And it's like, yeah, well, everybody freaks out. Uh, it's in the middle here, so you can drop me right at the stairs. Yeah, like, right here. I can't dismount. It says you can only dismount when stationary and below a certain altitude, but the floor's right there. I'm a ninja. My legs won't... I'm not a ninja right now, but my legs won't break that badly. Well, I have an order for supplies for you. There you go. Well, they're all mustering for the inevitable operation after this. Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. They're not talking about me mustering and everything. I guess you could do this later than right now, so, you know. We're already flying into the battle for... 
battle against you more on the back of a fucking cruise chaser surfboard with a gun and a flamethrower and a god to honest smile on her face. She's just doing the fucking Simon pose on the edge of cruise chaser. So yeah, this is the quest that I think is the two quest chain, if I recall correctly. So like you talk to the soldiers and then you finish the quest and then they're like, oh, the supply order's ready. Can you take it back for us? And then it's like two minutes and it's done, so... I'll get the ether current though from just doing this quest, so that means that I'll be able to fly the supplies back. So that should be a little easier. It's okay, I love my wife. She's small and cute and adorable and she's mine. You can look, no touch. That's fair. I, I don't think I'd, I'd want to uh, draw your ire, so I would not touch. <laughs> yeah, I've been told to make pleasant idle conversations, so sure, what do you think of Radiska's round? Uh-huh. Well, that makes sense. Might as well use the tower while it's here. Sorry, I gotta put my... Put my pad back here. By pad, I mean pillow for my back. There we go. Yeah, and it's, you know, not near an ether current, so I can see how it would be a little bit on the lonely side. I think... I wonder if it's gonna let me turn these quests in on Dark Knight, even though I started them on Summoner? Because I'm definitely going to hit 80, like, from just these quests alone. <laughs> so can I, Varlier, but, uh, that's where I have to be here for the supply order, so. Oh, it was an old Belfry at one point. Okay, cool. Yeah, I could see that, uh, being a good use for it now, so. <laughs> He's singing Exponential Entropy. I'm literally flying around completing the map. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Might as well do it. I'll have good reason to do it at a different point in time, because at the moment, the, the only Alexander thing I have raids is my capsule core were inspired. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. I mean, I agree. Actually, I might fly around with the Capsule Corp car, because when will we ever get to... Like, once Quinfucius, Parvati, and Interceptor get here, will we really get to hear the car's music theme again? Probably not. At least not for a while, so... You know what, Jonard? I'll take it, because I need to pass time anyway. <laughs> wow. Well, that was brave of him. I wonder who this Radiska person was. Probably nobody we knew. Kind of interesting if it was like one of Ardbert's friends, but I suppose they were gone before the Sin Eaters got here, so, you know. Alright, good. I'll take the compensation. Thank you for the ether current. And you could literally just leave this guy here at this point and just say, fuck you. You can take the supplies yourself and run, but I'm gonna do the quest for him because I'm a nice person. I'm gonna switch to Dark Knight though, because I think, yeah, because of Quest Sync, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to turn in the other quests on Summoner. But we'll see. I am ready to depart. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little flyover, see what else I haven't seen of Lakeland, but uh, once I take to the road with the supplies, I will get them there. You can count on it. I was a good delivery man. Just ask the delivery Moogle that I'm not even sure any of you can see. It's a figment of your imagination. That's what the Muggles want you to believe. But in your boyfriend, he's poked the bear a lot. He's lucky you keep Allie in check, or he might be severely injured, you know. <laughs> oh, boy. Allie's kind of possessed of her wife. You can only do so much to not do not anger her. Yeah, fair enough. I will keep that in mind. What the bear doing? Mauling me. Mm. Nice. Yes, the kindly traveler, and don't you fucking forget it. <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So this is like a, a breath of fresh air for all of you, then. I will be safe on the road, thank you. So now we just gotta bring everything back to the uh, sentries, and then we're good. I think that's all the ether currents, right? Let me just check. Uh, that's Curthus. I have... I'm missing one, so I'm not actually going to be able to fly at the moment until I go turn those in. So, let's go to the imperative, turn them in, and then we can fly. <laughs> How about that?
This is why we set up the Ostal Imperative as an Aether teleport point before I did this, because otherwise I would have had to walk there. So, you know. I'm just going to turn this one in. I think this one's the closest one. Although this might be the supply... No, this isn't the supply box one. This is the Astu Tomorrow, which will let me fly over to Tiana, and then after that fly over everything else. So. Well, good. Glad to hear that. Glad they didn't run into any more trouble on the road. <laughs> I'll bet. Just make sure it's got a little dream powder in it in case he's going to the whole uh, operation there. We are a free bird in Lakeland. Our ether tune, uh, current attunement is complete. So let's go turn this in with Tiana so they're not waiting for supplies. And we'll listen to the harmonica in my car. I'll let it play a little more in a second. Let me just turn the quest in first. Oh, I could turn them in on Dark Knight even though it was quest synced, actually. I didn't realize that. All right, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> Major, slow your roll. I did what you wanted. I think I have more important places to be, but I appreciate the offer. God, I wish you could do tricks on mounts. Do I want to decline this so I can turn it on some... No, I'll just get the experience from the story quest. It's fine. I wish you could do tricks on mounts. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, let me do fucking, like, 1080s on this damn thing in midair. <laughs> Alright, where have I not Mapping been? Mapping the realm, map, Lakeland. But... Oh, good. I'm just about ready to do that myself. Let's go see what's in the southwest corner before we do a flyover of Lax and Loft while the Yomorans are still there. Seems like a great idea. Cole, that's her being nice. You will wish she was mauling you if you get on her bad side. I won't give full details, but imagine being in a dream. You have unlimited potential and power, right? Since Ali is you, you get to fight Infinity and you almost always lost. God fucking damn it. Yeah, I can see that being... Uh, a tricky battle to win. I don't know if... It's a battle I'd want to try to win. <laughs> what the heck is this island out here? Did you see that when you were Yeah, I know. It's a here? really weird-ass island. I've tried swimming towards it sometimes, but my legs are short. I mean, you still have the blessing of water, right? You could probably just swim underwater. Oh, yeah! I forgot about that! Mm. There's probably botany ingredients to be gathered down there, knowing the fact that there's barely any water in this X-Pack to actually swim in. <laughs> the fuck's a water? Yeah. Sullen! I've been swimming since the incident. Hmm. We'll go to Sullen later. I think that's like when you go and actually explore that island as a part of the main quest, you go to Sullen. So. Alright, let's go fly over Lax and Loft because I need to get this one little whatever the hell this is up in the top. Uh, Inviolate Witness. Sounds like the name of the battlefield at Holminster Switch, but we'll go get that. It's more creative than you are. She's better in one-on-one -on -one fights. Hated hundreds of fights and losses. Yeah, no, I could, I could see how that would deter you a little bit. Tiny bit. Okay, let's see what the Omorans are up to. Let's see how the Mako juice is cooking. No, no, don't do that. That is not good. <laughs> I hope they keep like some of uh, some of the Narmier lines that Hojo has in the Final Fantasy VII remake when they eventually get to you fighting him because like he was such a goober in original FF7. It would be a shame if they took him really seriously because it just doesn't seem like his character to be taken seriously, you know. So. Unrelated on the subject of Final Fantasy, uh, oh look, a they kept the old soundtrack for Crisis Core, and I am dying because they also remastered it. Mm. Nice me foaming at the mouth. Yeah, from what I understand, it's like an enhanced remaster, so there's like new voice actors and a few new things, like but a lot, like a, new assets, but it's not like a full-on remake where they change the game up, you know? So. Alright, we mapped the realm for Lakeland. Awesome. Let's go back to Summoner. So I can, uh... I might do this instance on Summoner, actually, because it's, uh... I'm gonna be at 80 with... I'm going to do this playing. instance on Gun. That makes sense. Uh, but I'm gonna be playing Dark Knight for a little bit after this, because it's the last class that I actually have to get any experience on now. It's halfway to level 80 and then it's done. Scholar and Summoner will be 80 after this. Ninja's already there. 
my crafters, my gatherers, everything's at 80 already, so I'm, I'm basically done with experience after, like, next episode, so, you know. All right, up we go. Just gonna make an abrupt landing right here because uh, I don't need a landing pad with this thing. It kind of floats, so. All right, I'm ready to go into the instance. Can I go into it with you and my party, or do we have to disband? Oh, fuck, you're already at the instance. Hold on. Oh, you're not up here yet. <laughs> what were you doing? Uh, catching up on story quests because I thought it would be a great idea to fucking... What story quest? Do that first. I had to... F finish up. I had to talk to Lena again, because I already fed the Amaro. Oh, okay. I see. What the fuck is this? All the way up. Nothing can stop him. He's all the way... It's she. She's all the way up. Yeah, that far up. <laughs> just a spaceship. Just a sense. <laughs> just make sure you don't spook the Amaro on your way up. Tiny bit. Try fighting her nightly for months. You're fucking raging, yeah. That that is that is like a raid boss fight, yeah. Okay, so we have to do it separately, unfortunately. I, I figured so. Oh, and yeah, we'll get our gear glamour to the Crystarium set that we're gonna get after this anyway. So, and it sinks us to eye level three ninety five, which is sketchy, but I'm three ninety nine, so it's not really that big of a drop. Got a whole four levels down. Whatever will you do? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Because here we go, into the instance. Oh, it's Yul Morin armor that that guy had that, uh... Why the uh, fuck is their armor three separate colors? Was. I hate it. <laughs> Do you think they care about aesthetics? They literally have the entire world in their pocket. Yeah, notice how it's daytime now. Yeah, they changed Keep the time moving. of day. Well, if she put her hair up in a ponytail, I suppose that would look a little like young Minfilia. What now? Nothing good, I can guarantee you of that. The Crystarium at a guess. Desperate fools. It'll take more than a handful of overgrown lizards to ground us. Those are hear you, and you will appreciate their winged feathers. I suppose lizards can have feathers, though, so... Good night. Damn, he was out fast. This, this stuff works pretty good. Raise the alarm. I remember when I was a kid, and I played James Bond 007 Nightfire, and we were in that level where you had to use the stealth dart gun. And I wanted to test. I said, what'll happen if I shoot this guy in the head instead? And so I totally did shoot one of the <laughs> random innocent guards in the head with a gun. <laughs> it was awful of me to do, but I did it, and I failed the mission and had to start over, of course, but, you, you know. Nice yeah, fire, holy shit, that's a throwback. That is a throwback, holy shit. It's taken effect, and I've been fitted with this Crystarium gear. Let us free the Oracle from their clutches. Yes, ma'am! See, the nice part about this gear is that no one will know it's me, because even if the Yulmorans saw me back in, well, Yulmor, I had a mask on. This is not a mask. It's funny how that works out. Alright, Captain, let's take the fight to them. I can't believe I'm making ninja moves on Summoner. It's like my soul crystals are all harmonizing. All right, <laughs> let's take on the Yule Morins. I'm for gun. Mm. Are you on the other side of the fort? Is that why I'm not seeing yep. you at the moment? Okay, that makes sense. Full okay. queen and country. You, uh, you do that. I should probably summon Carbuncle so I can summon, you know, everything else. Uh, Lena, can you get, uh, Searing Light? No? Okay. 
Cole, I'm sure you'll be able to see this. Bahamut! Man, that guy got erased. Sent to God. Go to Horny Jail. I wanted to use Bahamut more. Off he goes. I'll get to use him more in a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm following Alpha now, Melina. More carbuncles! We still don't get an obsidian carbuncle glamour. I'm sad. And this is before Alphano decided to embrace his Charlian roots. I didn't take Physic off my bar. We I almost just... When did Rory become one of Gunhilder's blades? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's been at it for a while. Oh, I've still got a fester. No, stop that. Yes, Ronk and stone me instead of curing everyone. Where's the soldier? Oh, there he is. All right, let's keep moving. In and out in five minutes. I still have two uh, Garuda spells to burn. I was sleeping around when Gunhilda was a thing. I missed some lore. Actually, I don't know if you were around when Gunhilda was a thing, but... Uh, I was not. That was my dad. Yeah, her father gave her the gunblade, in case that was unclear. I didn't get to the death flare. Now I will. They're probably like, what the fuck, a dragon? We haven't seen those in a hundred years! This is no mere dragon, sir. If this is advanced dragon. No horrible thrust for you. Fuck you. He tried. I walked out on him. I found someone for you to kill, Titan. Is there a healer? There is a healer. Okay. Well, the healer will die. Eventually. I'll, I'll get the healer eventually. You're not alone. This one, however, is mine. As is that one. Bahamut! Bahamut every 60 seconds. I don't remember if that was a thing in Shadowbringers, like, itself. Or no, in Stormblood it wasn't, but in Shadowbringers it was. Like, before they swapped the class around a little bit, because they changed it in when Endwalker came out to be in its current iteration. That's why I didn't want to play it earlier. So, uh... Because I was like, no, it changes so much that I don't feel like... If I try to play it, like, right after, uh, you know, when I was basically uh, just getting off of my little vacation that I took in Doma, it would feel weird that all of a sudden the class plays differently and there wasn't, like, a story reason for it. So that's why we invented the story reason for it, which was the uh, me having to reawaken my soul crystals. So that that was why that originally happened. That... that uh, is the lore reason for me having to reawaken my soul crystals, so there you go. You're gonna let me take first round here, Lena. Just make sure you keep up. I don't think I have to tell her that. Are you having fun yet? I'm gonna save Bahamut. This guy's not worth it. Okay, looks like we found the Oracle, so uh, keep doing what you're doing. Little Miss, you're coming you with us. What are you doing? My best. Always. Using the flamethrower liberally. Liberally. Liberally apply hot napalm to their faces. <laughs> they will never recover. Engravings. Hmm. Oh. I guess Thancred gave her some weapons. Because he did rescue her at one point, so I guess that makes sense. Hmm. 
know what originally made you hate Rogue? At some points, a lot of the attack Dancer does this too. You only hear scissors rapidly opening and closing. Yeah, I can kind of see it with the chakram noises. Like, that sort of does sound like scissors opening and closing. And yeah, I could see that being... Some people, that's probably like nails on a chalkboard. For me, it doesn't really bug me, but it's like, yeah, I could see it. All right. Lena, why would you ever say that? You just jinxed us to hell and back. Where's Alphano? Oh, that's where Alphano is. Dealing with Ranjit. Uh, young Menphilia, it might be a better idea to not walk directly up to the Yulmor in general. Where the fuck's this old man? He can get these hands, though. Oh, yeah, you weren't in the room when he showed up last time. He's, uh, crafty. He's got experience on his side. But can he beat plot armor? Let's find out. But can he beat the man that could have beaten an Elder Asian? If he can, it's bullshit. Let's find out if it's bullshit. Time to catch these hands, old man! Have some searing light. And now, Bahamut! I'm totally gonna draw his aggro, this is gonna suck. What the hell is a Gukamots? You won't be taking her back there anytime soon, sir. Not if we have anything to say about it. Oh. Okay. Well. Maybe I should have arm length that. I don't have Gukumatsu's aggro. That's probably a good sign. Well, why are we fighting him instead of running away? I mean, you guys could have run. I could have stood here and took him on by myself. It's fine. Oh, look, all those poisons that Marie wants back. I forget who has those. Probably Alpha now. Oh, shit. Don't tell me he got you, too. It is just you and me. It's okay, old man. I'll go easy on you. I know you've got some geriatric old bones. I'll summon it slightly less power. How about that? You think I'm scared of you, old man? Catch these hands! Okay, good. You're not knocked out yet. Because I'm talking a big game, but I want to make sure I'm not going to get fucking destroyed in the process. <laughs> I don't have my uh, lucid anymore. There we go. Shattered sky. I should probably stand close. Oh, okay then. Uh, Ow. Carbuncle, a little Aegis, please. Thank you. I should have done that first. Uh, Not me no, doing actual yeah, full-blown goddamn rotations to make sure this man gets these hands. <laughs> I'm a physical range DPS, that's why I can move so much. Damn, this old man got some thick skin! Yeah, okay. Yeah. Go ahead, blow me away. Uh, actually, no. Good idea! Nope, it worked out. <laughs> I'm just gonna run in circles. Toy with him. Well, no fucking shit, dude. I'm only trying to conceal my identity. Uh, sure cast. Fuck you. I'm glad I saved that. Why do you persist in this folly? Because if I don't, who will? Swiftcast? I'm doing this a little too fast. I've got too much spell speed. Have to fix that eventually. It's a good thing they didn't put like any spell speed on any of the uh, Crypt Lurker stuff. <laughs> it's over. Ow! What did he do? Hit my flu bar? That is the word, right? 
flu bar? Am I making the reference correctly? I didn't know I had a flu bar. Well, that's a new one. I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> Mr. Poison. You literally won the Nada by channeling the bubonic plague. You did nothing but hit Bane and everyone died. <laughs> Then I see fucking banned your poisons. For a member of the Shirtcast Club now, I'm lazy. Yeah, me too. I'm just like, you know what? I don't feel like doing this mechanic. I'm just going to Shirtcast it. <laughs> I do that all the I time. Perhaps we should have aimed for the dragon. You know, that's not a bad idea, actually. You boy. You better strike the benefit of hindsight. Artist, my master seeks. Speaking of hindsight, Elfino, why didn't you wear a mask? You're the one that had your face open when we were in Yulmore. Why don't you have a helmet on? Council, you will all have ample time to confess your crimes back in Yulmore. Uh, if you think I'm going back to Yulmore, you're gonna need to find a body bag, you geriatric fuck. Here he comes to save the day! Oh, never mind. <laughs> what? Hi, Thancred. Can you do that? What? Lock gun blades with your feet? I'm not a monk anymore, so no. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Thancred. I see the gun blades treating you well. So, you are the wretch who stole her from us. Looks like high quality craftsmanship. You must have made it, right? I might have helped. A little. A lot. <laughs> not my favorite work, though. Blocks to this toe, you're still mad about that. I'm still mad that he hit me in my flu bar. Like, Ranjit, okay, so Ranjit is, like I said, supposed to be the Xenos analog of this X-Pack, because obviously Xenos can't get to the first. And he has probably, like, 60 years of experience in the Yomoran army fighting Sin Eaters, but here's the thing. 20 of those 60 years, he has spent doing fuck all, and they've been the 20 most recent years, because Vothri basically said, to, uh, caused a ceasefire with the Sin Eaters. So how the fuck is he so strong? Such as you are not I hope they do something with that. I hope we learn how he's so strong through a deep amount of character development over the course of this X-Pack. <laughs> and somehow, he's still more well-written than Xenos and Stormblood. Actually, I was going to say Grinawad is more well-written than Ranjit, but I didn't want to spoil the fact that he isn't well-written yet. Thancred, that's a bad idea. Thancred, that's not a good idea. Don't do it. Wait, he's not doing this, is he? Goodbye. See, this is what you get for not tornado kicking. Fox was toe. I'm still mad about that. Why are you asking for so much? Uh, apparently the bare minimum is too much now. <laughs> See ya! Lena, are you sure you're going to be okay with him here? Cause he looks like he's about to fucking. Break. Never mind, we're fine. Oh look, another spell that they took out of the game. <laughs> Zenos didn't have a fucking character at all. I hated him. Okay, so Marie, I will call your Zenos didn't have a character, and I will raise you one zero from Mega Man X. Because Zenos is exactly zero if zero was not on your side in Stormblood. It's why I actually didn't mind Xenos all that much in Stormblood. So, he's literally zero. I was like, no, you know what, this is fine. I like zero, so I like this. I would sooner see it raised than conquered. I don't think he was in your face enough, like Golbez is in Final Fantasy IV. I think he could have dealt with being, you know, more active as the villain, but eh, que sera, sera. Didn't like Zero until X6 from a gameplay perspective. Well, that's understandable. He gets a katana in X6, so that automatically makes him cooler. <laughs> or the Zero games, yeah. Anyway, the Crystal Exarch gets now, to do his Doc, speech again. Will you face me yourself? Why would I do that? I have an entire tower that can defeat you. Worth of goods. Probably did rebuild did rebuild several of Alexander's old I creations. Not, Smile. I've quite exhausted my tricks. Where do you think I got the cruise tracer from? 
You, wait, okay. you got, hey, hang on, can we back up a second? The, the Crystal Exarch is giving a speech. Let's let him give the speech then, and then I have questions for you about Alexander. <laughs> You'll find out later. Oh, no. Ilmeg, the fairy kingdom. Ooh, he doesn't like the Feywild. I love how cocky the Crystal Exarch is in this scene. Well, it's deserved, right? Because he knows that that gets under Ranjit's skin. Like, he's done his homework, obviously. So. To think that mountain of indolence still had the energy to unleash his hounds. Hey, look, it's that dapper gentleman again. Even the most pointless of conflicts may alter a world's course. And now the plan has gone awry. Maybe if you guys communicated a little bit better, the plan wouldn't go awry. But you guys don't really talk to each other, do you? And how? I thought you talked to each other a lot back in the void. Crystal Exarch bring the hero of the source to the first. How do you not know that? As if I didn't have enough on my hands already. Well, you look like you're taking your sweet time with it, to be fair. I wonder if I should have let that linger for longer so it could be thumbnail. Yeah, I could probably set it to be thumbnail anyway. Mayhap there is another way. One which does not require bloodshed. Hmm. I wonder what he's plotting. Out of character. In character, I can't because I don't obviously know that he's up there. So is your flu bar okay? Because my flu bar is still so hurting from that focused right on. in the shadow of the northern ranges. Ow. Yeah, I'll say. You know, I thought I got my ass beat by Xenos, but a with a proud what the history. fuck, Richard? And that's what but I'm the saying. Sin eaters cut short, just like all the rest. Since that time, these lands have become a haven for Fey folk. Yay, the Fey Wild! Dreamers frolicking. Oh! <laughs> Knew that was gonna happen. This is one of my favorite tracks in the X-Pack, though. The background theme for Ilmeg. Oh, get out of here now. It's, it's so serene, despite the fact that this is the Feywild. It's just so peaceful. It's like ASMR music. <laughs> Are you sure we're safe here? Most of you guys don't have access to the Fey Union, so you wouldn't be safe in the Feywild. I think it's just me and Al... Actually, it's Alphano like doesn't even have access friends. to that. He never unlocked I don't know about you, Eos and Selene. It feels like years since last we met. Five of them in my case. Yeah, you've been here for longer than most of us, huh? Why, it only feels like one to me, but long enough to warrant a more convivial reunion either way. What brought you to Laxon Loft? He was rescuing Menphilio. Did, did you, do you really have to, no, actually no, it's Ali say she might not know the history. She and I were traveling together, hunting Sin Eaters. But as we were nearing Lakeland, she abruptly ran off on her own. That was probably my fault. She probably sensed the influx of light that I shot into the fucking sky. <laughs> and no, get out of there now. You're screaming the entire time you're here. The quest dialogue just made the terror worse. Considering rescue options, At least I know I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, they were mobilizing because Yulmor was being Yulmor. Who apprised me of the details of the operation. And issued me certain instructions. He was really on point with this whole being a leader thing, wasn't he? Should the situation take a turn for the worse? Let's see your frustration, I, I imagine. Safely to Ilmeg. And here we are. Are you sure it's safely to Ilmeg? Uh, in terms of the Crystal Exarch being a leader. I hope he got that out of his own hard work and isn't just trying to channel my energies. <laughs> Why do they do oh, this have... to me? <laughs> has I think it's cute. You have a fan <laughs> smile. <sighs> Yet we have never called upon him. I, I need to tell you why he shouldn't be a fan, but I can't tell you right now because we're in the Feywild, and I don't want to give them any ideas. <laughs> he. Hardly surprising. This is not the sort of place one visits on a whim. Unless you're me. I've been trying to pry the gate open for days. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the one who made that gate. Oh, that's why I couldn't get through. For a spell, 
Then Philia and I have an idea of how things work around here. Oh, Orion Jay's over here? Okay. Sooner or later, the Omorans will come after us. But before they do, the Exarch bids us accomplish two things. And what are those? First, rendezvous with Orianger. Makes sense. You guys need to start working together again. What's the second one? Low as I am to admit it. Eliminate the Light Warden of this land. Okay, I thought you were going to say make a pact with all of the Fey Folk. I've already made a pact with Fey Ool, so it probably would have been pretty easy, but I don't know if I want to you know, dip my toes into that, even being someone who can summon pixies into existence. So, Fairies, you know, whatever you want to call them. What made you leave Thancred behind, if you don't mind me asking? She just points directly at me. <laughs> I'm a scholar. These are European folklore, Fae Folklore, and Selena are a very different breed compared to that. Uh, well. The hero from another world. That's me, yes. You You're looking at the wrong person, Minfilia. I mean, technically all of us are heroes from another world, so she should be looking at all of us. And, and I knew I had to go to them. But with all the commotion in Lakeland, I was afraid that Thancred wouldn't let me. And then he ended up going to see me anyway, so it sounds like you just inserted your own foot in your mouth. And would I have been wrong? Had I arrived a moment later, you would be back in your cell in Yulmor. And we might be dead, because he might have hit my flu bar again. And now we have Ranjit snapping at our heels. You really have outdone yourself this time. Thankard, if you're trying to be a dad, this is the wrong way to do it. Just saying. This, this is not how you raise children. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. Don't give me. the men some time for character development. I suppose... Poor thing being scolded so. I know those intonations. They're not Feowulfs, but they're like Feowulfs. Oh no. Who said that? Show yourselves. You guys know where we are, right? We just said. Oh no. Okay. I think I would be rather back at the edge of Xenos' blade. They're just kids! What's the problem? I hate kids! <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You haven't been at the Dome and Enclave for five and a half you months basically so raising those that kids that Gosetsu left behind. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Where is Gosetsu, by the way? That's In the an, void. That's an out-of-character question. By the way, I still don't know where Gosetsu went. I'm pretty sure he didn't even show up for the big damn heroes moment at the end of Endwalker. Where everyone else showed up. <laughs> Thancred gets a dad arc, yeah. Great. He needs Urian J to keep him in check so they can both be dads. They just need to be good dad, bad dad. Also, We just need now. to catch Ranjit when his plot armor isn't down. We just have to kill him off screen. Yeah, it's probably going to end up being that way because it's that's all he's doing is plot armor. Quote your past self. I'll take my chances with you more right now. I mean, I'll be going back to Calusia to do hunts even if we're stuck here. So that's out of character, though. Why can't I remember? Damn it all. We're already caught in their spell. Well, I mean, look at the stuff around us. You see all those little things that look like water droplets panning through the camera? The mist in the air? That's their spell, dude. Why do you think I'm wearing a mask? <laughs> How much do you hate this place, Cole? Intensely. Do you want my mask? You could probably use it more than me. <laughs> I don't know if I can give it to you, though. I'm pretty sure it's bound to me. <laughs> literally bound to me <laughs> not like to my face but bound to my character <laughs> it is home to the fey folk okay well fair enough i see a living flower basket over there so that must be another one of the tricks i mean you all are sure i'm fine Transgage has expanded because summoners level 80. Enhanced summon Bahamut. So now, every other time I summon Bahamut, the idea that I just had will let me summon Phoenix instead. Why did I say I lose DPS for this? Well, up until I level fear. 80, 
you fear. Cole, you hate this place. I fear this place. Help. Why am I here again? Well, you wanted to join the stream, so I mean... <laughs> yeah, so every other time I summon Bahamut now, I will summon Phoenix instead. And the reason why I lose DPS is because Astro Flow... Normally, it changes into Death Flare when Bahamut is out, but when Phoenix is out, it changes into a shield, and when the shield pops, it turns into a heal over time. So it's really good for tanking and in light party situations. It's just not so good for, you know, solo use. <laughs> that being said, let's swap over to Dark Knight so I can actually get some experience on this. Thanks, Carbuncle. Well, trying to think your way out of this present predicament is something you should not be doing because you should have thought of it before we came here. <laughs> okay, let's go find Little Laron then. Oh, okay. Well, she did know that we were from another world, so that makes sense. Okay, Cole, I get to tank on the way there, you get to DP- Oh, actually, good question. Uh, does Clan Nutsy have anything on their list of things to kill here? I mean, I looked at mine, um, there's Etten Moth. Everything. Everything? My thing only says one Etten Moth. I don't know what notes Listen. you got. <laughs> Listen. Ilmeg is a perilous hellscape with which none have ever returned. Those who come here only find pain, suffering, and misery. A bitter cold or a warm breeze. Endless games that tire you until you are nothing but a corpse. Walking forward, a plaything for these things. Yeah, but did anybody who came here before have a pixie already situated with a pact with them? Let alone three? I have Eos, Selene, and Feoul. We'll be fine. Well, Are you I'll sure you're fine. not the one with plot armor? Well, I'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm the one with plot armor. Remember, I'm the genre-savvy one. If this was a comic, Rory would go on a full-page just tangent of slowly like, zooming in on her face. Of the, just... fu the funniest part about all this is that this is basically an abridged series at this point, except we're playing it at the same pace as everybody else. <laughs> Where can I go with this, Amaro Porter? Oh, just look, like we can a go hard back zoom if we in. want. Just a fucking hard zoom in on Rory's face, getting progressively more shaded and more creepy as she describes the horrors of Ilmeg. <laughs> and all she and it just ends with her looking at a bush and just says, That was my best friend the last time I came here. Oh good lord. Well somebody's unlocked flight up there. Either that or the fairies are playing tricks on them. I miss Rianje. He's here. We'll find him. To the fog. And the hellscape. Hmm. The fucking trees! Well, before I talk to Thancred and have a practical joke played on me by the pixies, I'm gonna tune to the ether. Because it seems like a good idea. No, I'd rather take my chance with you more. I won't get turned into a bush! <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I fear no man nor plant thing, so I'm, I'm fine. Well, of course they've already begun. They're pixies. They like playing jokes. They're children, Thancred. Then again, I've seen you with children, and... Mm, are you getting ready to burn those bushes? They used to be people, you know. You can you can burn the landscape if you want, but the, they'll just bring it back. Don't burn the bushes, though, because those probably can still feel that. A distinctive furled tip. Oh, looking grass, okay. I thought you were going to tell me to go get Whisperweed. Again, question mark? Did we get Whisperweed yet in this game? I don't think so. I feel like we should have gotten it in Endwalker, considering, you know, the first little bit of it is a Final Fantasy IV reference. At least a surface level one. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, so here's the plan. Uh-huh. Do not listen to any voices at all during this entire quest. If you hear something, shoot it. You have the gun, though. Hello! Ellipsis! I'm sure you could have. Yeah, never give the Fae your name. Yeah, no, I'm... See, that's that's the genre-savvy part of this whole thing. Listen, I've already experienced what it's like to have pixies around because I have Eos and Selene, so I know the kinds of practical jokes they get up to. It's probably why Interceptor was getting up to so many jokes. I'm going to have to have a talk with them. Oh, well. The rule of thumb with Fae? Be boring. Mm. That's me. Well, I'd like to believe I'm not that boring, but around them I'll be boring, because I know better. 
Do not acknowledge them. Do not ask questions. Do not perceive them. Let me put it this way so you can actually understand. Fear the dangerous part of Whimsical. They will trip you with magic to let you fall off a cliff to your death and laugh because they thought it'd be funny to watch you trip. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> they're just, like I said, they're just kids. They don't know any better because they literally never learned their conscious uh, right from wrong before they died and turned into Fae. So, you know. Yeah, Mono, you're pretty boring. Thanks, local devil hunter. I appreciate it. Uh, Cole, are you, why are you heavy? Oh. Where are you from? Actually, if I said the Crystarium there, I'd be lying. So I'd be okay, right? Uh, da, da, da. I mean, I have a helmet on. I can't really hear you, so. And also, local devil hunter. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. We are uh, examining the Feywild and trying not to get turned into plants in the process, so. Oh good, it feels like I have 600 pounds of armor on again. I've been beckoned. I wonder if I could, like, Isuna this, if I was on a healer. Probably not, right? Gotta love Fey. They don't even play by their own rules. <laughs> Probably not, right? Because it's like a quest-based debuff, so. No, it's fine, Thanker. This is what I expected <laughs> coming here. You're neato. I've been pretty good myself, actually, so. Not too bad. Just making my way through, trying not to die in here, as I said, so. And so cometh our fucking death. Cannot. You tried and screamed. Okay, fair enough. I'll try not. I'll not Asuna it then. I wonder if I could exuviate it. Because that's a blue mage version of Asuna, but it's also a heal. I wonder if they may have overlooked that. <laughs> well, I'm not going to get to try now, unfortunately. Until New Game Plus. Okay, good. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see if we... Oh, it's Urian J's trick. Okay. Then let's see what his tricks have been up to. Because Urian J is a little bit more clever than I am, so he should be, you know, his stuff should be able to help see through this stuff. Sounds like quite the fun times. Yeah, it's... It's up there. It's up there with my previous experiences of helping the Kami not have Mega Death God be summoned recently and uh, being summoned to another world. Oh good, he knows some Fae. Guy kind of looks like Nero from Devil May Cry 4. Yeah, kind of, with the trench coat and stuff. I don't think Nero had all this ammo on the side of it, though, but, you know. How did this mortal know our trick? Wait, I recognize their souls. These two have been here before. They have, with Orion J. <gasps> look, look, twins! How adorable! However, these two have not, and that means they're screwed. <laughs> The time has come, and so have I. Oh boy. <laughs> we have come to see Urianje. Love how this fucking game gave the Fey a fucking language. I, I, it's nice, right? It kind of adds to the mystique of the place, right? So it's it's good. And I think, like I said, I think it's based on like Welsh or something, so it's very accurate to what you'd expect from Fey. Yeah, that sounds like Urianje. He's been. Uh, he, he's able to do that, not sleep for seven days and seven nights. Oh, that was so much fun! We must do it again! Good luck. I'm sure he'd be delighted. <laughs> now, if you'd be so kind as to lift your spell. I'd like to be able to see your kingdom! How will we know the grandiose places you've built with your tiny, tiny hands otherwise? What now? Looks like they're mulling it over. This is their home, so we must indulge them. Have fun, Ali, say. <laughs> right, we've made up our minds. We will lift our spell on one condition that you first lend us a helping hand. Or two. Or three. Or. Once you've helped no, just three is fine. Troubles, we'll let you see Urion J. Pixie's on her. You'll forgive me if I don't feel like that's very trustworthy. Well, well there you have it. 
pixie chores. Great. I suggest we split up. The game's got me doing side quests in the main quest again. I thought I had enough of this when I was in Bokairo. Well, might as well get going while the getting's good. And what will you do while I am doing Fey chores? Or did they sick you to do Fey chores as well? It tricked me into thinking I was blind while you were in that cutscene. Really? <laughs> That's funny. See, this is why I'm okay here, because I find their jokes funny rather than this. <laughs> I'm toasty in here. Did the ocean get warmer all of a sudden, or is it just me? <laughs> no, that's just all the blood finally rushing to your dumbass brain. Oh, wow. Now I, my brain is actually working? That's incredible. Thank you. I wasn't sure it would ever work again. <laughs> ever blooms, huh? I will try. Sure. Thank you. I wish we could see through this fog. I'd be able to tell you that there are Etten moths ever so slightly out this way, but maybe I can see them from over the ridge here. Yeah, I can see the one right there. I just don't know if they'll let me actually go to it without turning me into a bush. Here, well, I'll, I'll give us a ride. I'll, I'll give us a ride. Hang on. That's fine. It's like a hundred more feet. You want to help me kill it? For clan nuts? Yeah, I got a new skill. Let me try it. Oh, you got a new skill. Did you just throw an anchor at him? Yeah, I'm working on a chainsaw next. Mm. Sounds fun. Sure. <laughs> just make sure you uh, put a mask on with it, not just for the helping with the, uh, you know, being here and not succumbing to their spell, but also because you want to look like Jason Voorhees. Oh, there's a gemstone trader over there. Cole, can I kill your brother? Take a joke, like a joke as much as the next girl. This is not a joking matter. It's always a joking matter with the Fey. Otherwise, you die. Oh, are they thirsty? Okay. Are you sure you're not just waterboarding them by doing this? Because you guys probably froze them in a state of continuous screaming. So they're probably just screaming while you're trying to have me... Oh, I, I get to go to Long Mirror Lake anyway. Okay, I wasn't sure if they were going to send me down there, so that's why I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to go kill the Etten Moth over there. So, Who are the Fuath? Okay, I'll try to steer clear of them. Thanks for the advice. I'm going to unlock this gemstone trader while I'm here. Yeah, shiny rocks. That's what they seem to trade here. Uh, if we were to need them, these lorikeet eggs are actually the ones that we need for the ultimate uh, food items that I was going to talk about before, or that I was talking about before, but, uh, well, I already bought a bunch of lorikeet eggs because apparently hunters have been here long enough to actually get some, so, without being turned into bushes, somehow. Maybe you will. Where, what do you have around here that would need a curtain, though? Don't you like being out in the wild? Oh, that's a rose bear. Let me just steer clear of that guy while I wander to Long Mirror Lake to uh, Yeah, by the way, water. some of these enemies, horrifying. Yeah, like that rose bear, he's kind of terrifying. Because he's y'all just... Y'all ever hear of what, uh, y'all ever hear of cordyceps? A it's bear like that, with but rose bushes. Yeah, he's like a bear with rose parasitic rose bushes growing out of him. Oh, look, Undine's here. Undine? Depends on... Which pronunciation you ascribe? It is seven sixteen, by the way. Okay, we'll do the uh, the quest for the pixies, and then after that, we'll call it a day. We'll go see Orion J next time, which might be tomorrow, and it might not. It kind of depends because we're under a blizzard warning from tomorrow morning until like Sunday, so we may not actually have power. <laughs> we'll see. Let's draw water. Chainsaws are neat OAF. Double blades are the best. Just like the one time you murdered... Oh my god. Speaking of murder, here we go. Uh, you take the ones on the left. I'll take these ones. Never mind. I'll take them all because they all came over here, so... Hang on. I've got a perfect solution to this. Flamethrower! Hmm. 
No more practical Perfect. jokes, Fuath. Right, now we just gotta run past all the undines. Writing maps are a thing. You should check your dryer. It's probably a good idea. Just make sure the clothes are done. Yeah, writing maps are a thing, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get them in this X pack, and here's the reason why. Uh, I think it's under mount speed. So in other areas, you could buy, basically you got a mount speed star for just doing the quest there, and then you could buy a riding map to get even higher mount speed, so that then you were almost as fast riding around as you were um, flying. In Shadowbringers, however, for some godforsaken reason, you can't do that. You always travel on the ground at the same speed unless you buy a riding map, in which case you get that one extra speed. So it is quite literally now pay to win to get the Fenrir motorcycle because you now move faster than everyone else does in the various areas in Shadowbringers and Endwalker if you have that motorcycle, which costs like $30, by the way. So, yeah, it's literally a pay to win game when it comes to mount speed now. It's kind of disappointing to me. You're under a blizzard warning too. Yeah, it's 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 a rough time. <laughs> Your net's been bad the entire day because there was also a smallish snowstorm today. Okay, so you're getting it. You're getting it twice. Then that's no good. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Meanwhile, Yorick, who's under this bush, is going <laughs> because we're basically waterboarding him by watering him because he was turned into a bush in a perpetual state of shock. I have given water to your children. Yes. But yeah, hopefully it all uh, goes well for you. Hopefully you guys don't lose power or anything. That wouldn't be good. So. Oh, that's one favor out of the way. Let's go take care of the rest, shall we? I still have one favor I didn't even pick up. But we got stuff to plant, so let's go plant it before they get brighter ideas. Planting us. Yeah, that's the brighter idea. It'd be really embarrassing to go meet Mama Crystal and... Oh, how did you go out, my child? I got turned into a fucking bush. In the world that you weren't strong enough to save. Thanks for that, by the way. Damn, I ain't gonna rub salt in the wound when I <laughs> die. I gotta ask her to bring me back, bro. There is an ether current quest here as well from Ladken here. It's, uh, we're gonna do it later. Like I said, we'll do it once, uh, <laughs> once we get the, the story wound. ether current quest here, so. Like, you'll get one ether current from a story quest here, and that's when we'll consider doing the, uh... Oh, I'm, I'm glad Alphano and Alice are having so much fun over there. They look like they're just having a lovely time. <laughs> to be fair, I'm rubbing salt unnecessarily because she was strong enough to save this world. She just only saved 10% of it, that's all. Maybe she was only strong enough to save 10%. To be fair, she didn't have the strength to shield us again after Ultima, so, you know, that she probably was True. still recuperating from that, and then we were like, no, can you save an entire shard? <sighs> how, do we, how do we keep making these messes? Oh, okay, huh. Yeah, looks, looks good. You guys did a good job decorating. Cole, I think I know how these pixies came into existence. These are the Voburton children that died when the Sin Eaters invaded. Well, now you make me feel bad. That's... <laughs> you going, why, 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 why you gotta make me feel bad? These Fae have literally murdered my friends. <laughs> I mean, technically they're not dead. They're just transfigured and the Fae won't let them untransfigure. Insert Dante Adios here. See y'all another 10 million years then. All right, Nitro, take it easy. I had I a feeling he was knew it. after a while. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Don't you fucking worry. That line made you log the fuck out. Oh, boy. Where can I get you fruit? Islala. Yala. Isiala. Uh, what's the name of an East game that I can parody here? I don't remember. Lacrimosa of... Uh, what is it? Lacrimosa of what? Uh, oh, Lacrimosa okay. of Lucky. Yeah, that. <laughs> anyway, we gotta go get Hang sweet on. succulent burdens. Yeah, Lacrimosa of Dana, that's it, or Donna. Made from the souls of dead children. Oh, these are European folklore fang. Help! <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because, like, 
either the children would be turned into Sin Eaters or they'd be turned into this. And I don't see how child Sin Eaters would really help because they can't, like, be children. They are like, there for invade. horror. Yeah, well, yeah, they're there for horror. But I, they can't, like, invade other areas disguised as children because they'd see them. It's like, no, that's a Sin Eater. Your etheric signature is yeah. all wrong and, well, you look hideous, so you're not a child. So this is what they change into instead. Oh, Little Luron means flower house. Thank you for teaching me your language. I think we've uh, hit a bit of an olive branch. Oh. Hopefully they don't use that olive branch to turn us into a tree. Hmm. Well, sounds like you guys are adaptable. I mean, at the rate we're going, it might just be. Here. Hang on. No, we've actually got that on that part. We might have to go kill another Etten Moth, even though Clan Nazi tells us not to. No, I'm going to try to steer Four clear. <laughs> Call loading the gun. Shame. <laughs> here. Let me, get, let me get the yieldy cruise chaser out. Hang on. We can't fly here. I mean, you can see how oppressive and moisturized the air is. Are you sure that... This is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cruise chaser probably said, Fuck no, I'm not rusting here. You can go directly to hell. <laughs> they replaced my mount. Oh. Well, that's just hilarious. Why has they... God forsaken me? <laughs> wonder what they did to my mount. Nope, I'm fine. <laughs> I told you I'd be fine! Oh good, we get to hear the music from this mount again for a little while until I get this out of This music is thing. oddly appropriate for Rory's current mood. <laughs> the harmonica, it's just like, I am not amused. Help. <laughs> Soldier crawler. Got him! Let me get a uh, air anchor. And then a uh, drill. Rory using all of her tools at her disposal. Practicing for when she does this to the Fae. Well, not that I've learned that the souls of dead children, I'm not gonna do it to the Fae anymore. Unless they have a leader. I mean, it's a theory. It's not a fact. I, I'm just saying. A get! God damn it. <laughs> I'm just saying that might be what it is. Oh good, you're interacting with this. Now I can just sit down and take a breather. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll fight. I should have jumped in faster so I could stun this guy. I, my brain wasn't working that hard. <laughs> I thought I just gave you all the blood back in your brain and it's already back to normal. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Surprised. So, that was Poison Breath, right? Yeah. This really is the Feywild because that Poison Breath slowed you. Unless it was just a numbing poison. <laughs> Look at Rory just staring absent-mindedly out the window. Like, uh... With the harmonica in the background. Like this, this, so is the, this is so good. <laughs> this is great. I love this image. I wish I could keep the camera like this so that I could, well, maybe I can actually. The image of pure so pain. I can do, what was the button for this? I think it's, it was scroll lock, right? To turn this off. What is scroll lock on my new computer? Where did I put it? Uh, it's not print screen, is it? Let's turn that off? No, that's just a screenshot. I've, I've lost num lock, or not num lock, scroll lock, help. <laughs> I don't know where it would be. Uh, that's pause break. I don't want that. Home end, page down, page up. Is it just on Numlock? Nope. No, well, whatever. I was going to take a screenshot of that, but I guess I kind of did. It's just got all my hot bars and everything on it. <laughs> Love how you react to the death of the lacrimosa of Don. Alacrid, damn, vocabulary I never thought I'd see more than once in my life. Yeah, there you go. Alright. I did get the fruit. It wasn't without struggle, but we got the fruit. Oh, those were your bugs. Okay, fair enough. All right. Don't you need those for more practical jokes? Are you? Is it okay that I kill them? No. Oh, okay. I guess you're that serious about having fun, huh? Well, yeah, they're basically static. They do nothing all the time except kill. I mean, that can only help you for so long. Avoiding them altogether. 
But how many more Sin Eaters will we have to avoid as we avoid the Fae in Ilmeg? Find out on the next episode of Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers The Stream Edition, which will be happening, uh, maybe tomorrow? <laughs> maybe not. It depends not. on if we get buried alive in snow. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Actually, it's going to be, it's going to start as rain and then turn to snow as the day goes on, and there will be, like, gusts of up to 70 miles an hour, so... It will turn to ice because of that, and that means I am Wait. not going anywhere in my car tomorrow. Wait. What? 70 miles an hour? Gusts. It's sustained at, like, 40, so it's fine. It's really not going to be a big deal. What? <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream, and I will see all of you on the next one, which will either be tomorrow. Hi, Alexander. Or uh, next week on Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, depending on whether or not we have power. Until then, everybody, take care and have a good one. Also, I will uh, post the schedule while he's already gone. <laughs> I will post the schedule up on uh, Twitch, YouTube, and Discord if we don't make it tomorrow. But if we do make it, Fair enough. we'll be uh, having more fun in Feyland, so that's fun. Take care, everybody. Right. We'll see you. Blah.